Hey, how diddly ho? How are we all doing? I'm great. How it's, are you? I'm doing good. I'm here. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. excited. You are? The, I'm yeah. excited too. This, it's, this is has been a long time coming, actually. One of my faves. Well, of... more in the sense that I watched this movie two weeks ago with the anticipation of recording it sooner <laughs> than we actually are recording it. And so I've like got the notes down. I've done watch like... 18 all the, times uh, and yeah. all the like the, the the extra you know youtube footage i can find mm. and like information did you watch the director's cut one um to you, I no I, I to you, no i just watched the theatrical version mm. i didn't do the director's cut i don't think every time i see an option i don't end up doing the direct the director's cut because not everybody might have access yeah or, like can get to it the director's or, cuts like over or three or, hours long i believe that so the, it's, yeah, it's a long one. It's I mean, a really long movie in long. itself. It's like over two hours long. Yeah, two and um, two, almost two hours and thirty minutes. <laughs> the like exactly. I feel like everybody's like, "What the fuck are y'all talking about?" Well, before we tell you what we're talking about, though, but uh, my name's Caitlin, and my name's Joshua, <laughs> and we're your boobays. We're this your boobays. This is boobays, where we get to talk about uh, scary movies. That's right. Where your spectacular, fantastic, fun, fun time, and you get to fun spend fun. it with us. That's right. I don't know why I did that. But That's okay. It doesn't sense. need to be. It kind of becomes long. horns. Yes. <laughs> One yeah, day we're going to be recording these podcasts, you guys, and you'll get to see what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. I'll have scenes. to sit up with proper posture and. No, you don't. <coughs> it's okay. <laughs> be who you are for your pride. Okay. Um, so today, you guys, uh, drum roll. Brrr, we are going to be talking about 2019's. 2019. My favorite film of 2019. Not even just horror film. And I'm going to let you pronounce it and say it because I want to see how you say it. Oh, Midsummer. Okay, cool. Midsummer. That's yeah. how I'd say it. It's just some of the people who are saying it online. Midsummer. Summer. 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 Well, it's Midsommar. interesting there because, we go. because that's how it's spelled, and that's yeah. I believe like the technical like link. I don't know. But then everywhere else, like even when they're speaking and stuff, and at least with my closed captioning, it was spelled Midsummer. Summer. Yeah. So I just say Midsummer. Midsummer. I say with a O instead of a U. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think my. A R comes out more E R midsummer. Well, really, like I'm not midsummer in itself too. It's just That's like <sighs> mind blown. Um, so midsummer. It's by Ari Aster, the director. Yes. He also directed Hereditary, mm-hmm. um, which was, was an phenomenal. amazing movie as well. That's right. Um, I always describe this one um, because, well, so I, I when I saw this film. I hadn't actually seen the trailer really. I had seen like a little bit, but I had no clue what I was getting into. Same yeah. with for Hereditary. And I feel like that is the proper way to view Going his in films. Blind. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I think I there is something he said about um in an interview that basically this film is like most like it's best to watch it blind. Like going yeah. in blind and not having well, seen or know anything about it. And that is exactly well, because, what I did. Because also as well if you were to watch it knowing what would happen or having like something to spoil it, any kind of spoilers, you then catch the transitions and the like murals and the paintings and see mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, that's just foreshadowing something that's already happened. Yeah. It's like kind of a part of the experience to watch it, not knowing what's going to happen and then kind of having it click later, like your second being watch like, being oh. like, oh, All literally this is said literally it. telling you. Right. The f- whole first mural that Painted you get the, says the entire, the entire movie. Plot of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's and if you pause everything. it, you can literally just be like, that happens, that happens and all the chronological is even order. in the like tree almost controlling mm-hmm. Danny and Christian, like also who the fuck pronounces their name christian i christian. hate that it's not cute it, it's christian it's just christian. As awful as he is yeah. as a fucking human being but anyways pele is like up in the tree controlling danny and yeah christian like a little puppeteer um basically orchestrating the big event that's gonna happen yeah yeah, there were some because if you really think about it, like there is like honestly the cultural like kind of a, a crowd villain kind of essence in this movie, but also like truly him and his brother are the true fucking villains because mm-hmm. they're bringing in like these innocent people who don't know what they're signing up for getting into 
to just like sacrifice, you know, him. die. Yeah. And so this sacrifice, this festival is supposed to happen every 90, 90 years, years. Mm-hmm. but every year they have the midsummer, like mm-hmm. May queen crowning. But so they only murder people on the 90, sacrifice the on 90 the 90. Years. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But other people coming in could still witness if somebody was at the end of their 72 year life cycle, they could still witness that probably. I would say so. Probably there yeah. just wouldn't be any like sacrificial like offering to like, you know, for their crops and new life and whatever. Do and I think, think they do still get people to impregnate the the girls as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that still happens. It's so just the actual the, people getting sacrificed doesn't happen. Yeah. Cause they yeah. did mention like having to bring uh, in outsiders, outsiders to yes. keep the bloodlines from overlapping too much. Mm-hmm. Um, what this is a really say? like kind of twisted movie like yeah. you, when you get into the psyche of it all like there's just a lot of there is it's mm-hmm. i think that's what i love so much about it is this film is horrifying and it's Be- mm-hmm. because of it's what people could actually do like this is, could be a very real situation probably going on somewhere in the oh world. yeah one thousand yeah. percent um gives like Hostile, like all those other movies, uh, Squid Game is really mm-hmm. people use other people for like their, you know, yeah, hedonistic pleasure. There was a theory. So Pele mentions at one point that his parents burned up in a fire. Yeah, and um, there oh, was. Do you think they were a part of the? That's what I thought, huh. but, but then if it only happens time. every ninety years, that's too much time. So uh, then I was like, well, do they sacrifice some people other times, or do hmm. they have to sacrifice? Two of their own members, but then that completely breaks the life or cycle idea. It could have idea. just been a fire. Yeah. It could have also just been like another emphasis um, to point out in the story how Danny, the main character, finds like kind of solace in this mm-hmm. new crowd of people because they're actually experiencing her emotions, whereas nobody else was helping her and experiencing yeah. her emotions. There's a moment where you can tell that that was the first time she had been actually mm-hmm. held. And I think that helps to like, um, for us as the viewer to get that idea as well as opposed to just seeing like people just dry heaving and like whatever and whatever Mm -hmm. because that never really kind of gets explained out right we just know that he puts in the the wheels for us to be like okay so they all feel what they feel yeah 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 yeah. and they feel it and they collectively yeah they like mirror it they vocalize Mm -hmm. it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when i when i first saw this film so i saw i saw an opening weekend Mm -hmm. in theaters Mm -hmm. and let me just tell you that was one of the most uncomfortable but like sittings. Yes. Yeah. So the the theater was packed because mm-hmm. it was opening weekend. And then I a lot of people. I just imagine this room being very silent. No. no. Oh, okay. Not at all. Oh, okay. So the film, I don't know if this was like director's choice or not, mm-hmm. but it was so loud. Mm-hmm. The volume was just like uncomfortably loud, mm-hmm. like almost to the point where it was like, oh my God, my like, can we turn this down a little bit? Um, which made the like use of silence in this film very like drastic because it yeah. would go from being like dead quiet then to just like sound. Symphonies, yeah. yeah. And very almost like grating mm-hmm. um, ones at that. And it was, so that was bizarre. And then I had, I had this woman in front of me who laughed like a fucking donkey. I don't know what. What made her laugh? Okay, everything. So, oh, Almost everyone in this film was laughing because I think they were, they didn't know how to take what they were seeing in. So they were just laughing because they were so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So the whole theater was just like cackling, but you could tell that they were just like, Mm like, what am I Because you're trying to cope and it's like almost, you can't even like believe like what you're watching. Yeah. This is the one real. You just got to laugh about it. Some people left midway. Yeah. I saw a few people. Before or after the like. Uh, it was after, mm-hmm. after that. Um, that. And there were, I don't know. I felt like people were like kicking my seat. <laughs> it was just like packed. It felt so tiny. Was this at the Galaxy? Or uh, yeah, here? the Star- okay. Starplex. Yeah, Starplex or whatever. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. AMC. Mm-hmm. Um, so many names. <laughs> because it was way before anything. Yeah, before, before like the Cinemark, Cinemark and all that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so very crowded. This woman was just like laughing like a donkey in front of me. It was bizarre. And when I left the film, I don't think I talked for like a solid 15 minutes. Mm. I was just like a shell of a person. I came out and was like, what the, yeah. what the fuck did I just watch? I, I loved it. But what 
it, I think it actually took me a second to love it because mm-hmm. I was just like so Still having kind to of decipher in shock. and yeah. like process Di- everything you digesting saw. Digesting everything. And so then like once I did come to terms with it, I was like, I fucking love that. And I would, I was like recommending it to people, but also like thinking in my head, I don't know if I could ever watch this film again. Yeah. And then I did. I own it on DVD. I still rented it on Apple TV because I don't have a fucking DVD player. Mm. <laughs> but, um, the times are changing. It yeah. was so good. It, it was a... Uh, I had to go home and watch Bob's Burgers, so... Oh, did you watch the movie? Make myself happy. I haven't yet. No. Movie, oh, I have to. I'm, I'm catching up on like the newest season. I yeah, think. see, I'm behind on the new season. And, I haven't seen uh-huh. that. And then I'm going to watch it. Um, So, yeah. I, and watching this movie again, because I remember watching it a long time ago. Um, No. And <laughs> it's was really heavy. It's yes. a very heavy movie like, yeah. to watch and sit through. Like because the first ten minutes you have a oh yeah already very massive suicide trauma yeah and which it's is very it's, heavy to watch her emotions mm-hmm. and to also like deal with like the 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 audacity and the nerve and the gumption of the boys the gall because all of them are fucking, fucking assholes yeah. they're all ass how ass hats ass hats that too <laughs> um and then like also just dealing with throughout the movie like the the concept of like. All the shit that they're going through with these weird ass Harga people. Yeah. Like, it's just a really weird movie. And it also is. I'm just like watching certain parts, especially with, you know, the the process of the elders and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like that's like also for me, like even and I, I felt like I was thinking of you whenever they were like with the yeah. hammer and stuff. Like that, I was like, I, Caitlin probably doesn't like that. That <laughs> when I saw that on fucking big ass screen T te- I I think I <laughs> like audibly went no (laughs) (laughs) and then i every time i mean my friend max is sitting in the room today as well Uh hello we have a live show um (laughs) but they were watching it with me and i was just like jesus fucking christ every single time no i can't i still have to i still have to like kind of shield my eyes at that scene because or at least you know just like turn my head away and like look out of my peripheral yeah like i'm not actually because it's really it. hard to watch another head human head get bashed in and this one and is like the just most like not just once twice three times multiple times and you and then like uh, later on there's flash sequences of it coming mm-hmm. back so it's and they really bring th- there's a few times like when they will the yeah. bodies on to the fire and yeah, stuff too where i'm like true. fuck i forgot it came back and that's true. they really just i mean you get every angle of those faces being smashed in and it's it's t- tough. Yeah. It's really fucking hard to sit there and watch. And kudos to their practical effects, special mm-hmm. effects. I don't know yeah. uh, what the fuck they used for that, but. I'm pr- it had to have been mixed probably, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure really fucking was, good. I'm sure there was a lot of practical effects with like the actual face oh, the after way- the fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so without further ado, I guess we can just jump right into it. Yes. Because we open up with one, like we said, we kind of mentioned um, the director put a lot of artwork into the film. Mm-hmm. And we open up with a mural um, that if you're watching it upon first, you wouldn't really kind of get it. It's just like, oh, okay. This that's is, pretty. That's, and Oh, this is what kind of indie film is this? Mm-hmm. And then. Um, Especially when it slides away <laughs> like some Monty, I, Monty Python esque. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Which I did enjoy too. I did. And I loved yeah, it. Yeah, it was cool, right? And uh, we then get like um, a, just, what we mentioned earlier a really heavy trauma of basically mm-hmm. getting into our main uh, actress, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, well, we get that Snowy Wood shot, right? And the yeah. singing. Which that song is kind of like the theme. Yeah, throughout, throughout the it whole. It comes in multiple times in throughout the film. Um, and the phone's ringing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has a really abrupt phone ringing transition, mm-hmm. which was good. Yeah. And so at that point, um, was she's trying to get in touch with her family. She's trying mm-hmm. to get in touch uh, with her parents and her, her sister because she got an email from her sister that was very... Um, Hell of uh, fucking dark. Yeah. Anyone dark, dark it said, and what it I saying? can't, everything's black. Mom and dad are coming too. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like. Very worrying. Yeah. yeah. Alarming. That's the word I was trying to think of. It's very alarming. And so um, she's also trying to call or I forget. Does he call her? She calls him. She calls him, right? Yeah. She hesitates to call him. Yeah. And 
which already shows that he's just like not yeah top yeah tier. <laughs> you know because he's telling her don't worry about it her sister always does this he's like brushing her off yeah very much so he's he's gaslighting her mm-hmm. in a sense as well one thousand percent then um we get one little bit mm-hmm. so last whenever she calls it says like blah 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 this is the ardor residence yeah her ardor means fire oh does it into like yeah like I didn't know that. So that's I looked that up or well I was looking at a lot facts, of stuff up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It just said like basically ardor means fire, which is super telling for of. the ending of this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and then Danny's photo on their bedside has a crown of flowers around it. Mm. So it's like So there's a lot of like nods that the director put in to mm-hmm. like give And they're super subtle. Like cuz I had never noticed that before mm-hmm. until I went and I watched or I read these things about and it. Then, and I've I've literally seen this movie probably at least 20 times. Jesus Christ. Colin. I I've seen I love this movie. <laughs> Jesus. I've seen it so many times and I never noticed that. Yeah. Never noticed it. And then I was like, you know I wouldn't what? have noticed it. I didn't notice it. Either. While I was going through those articles, I was like did they just fucking like edit this in? <laughs> sure enough, After they sure the fact, as hell didn't. Nope. No. <laughs> it was there. I was but like, okay. That's really cool. And that and goes no to clue. show you like as well, like how much of a presence a director can have on mm-hmm. a movie and like what they allow to be shot and put in. Things aren't accidents most of the time. Yeah, there's a bunch of scarecrows apparently mm-hmm. put in kind of like throughout the scene. So there's like the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz at mm-hmm. one point, like on a picture on the fridge, um, which is, and then just like stuffed scarecrows in certain different parts of like the house and stuff. Yeah. And basically everyone at the end is stuffed. Yeah. Especially Mark, his little skin suit stuffed like a little Ugh. gesture. Yeah. Skin the fool. Well, he kind of deserved it. He was he an did. Asshole. fucking eyebrows. He pissed on the elder tree. He did. Like you don't piss on the elder tree. He was like, it's a tree. And it's Even like, I would have been like, oh, that's and like also pissing too, on someone's grave. No, Come on, dude. No shade to the actor. Um, God rest his soul. He's not dead. He's just dead to oh, me. I was um, like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's just got one of those faces that just like, it, like he's always smelling something mm. bad. Like he just, yes. it just doesn't, it, well, his he eyebrows just kind of so me. dramatic. And even in a few other movies he's been in, he just kind of always plays a character. It's a little like kind of the, the, Dumb. A, a little or annoying kind mm. of, I would say. Not to he be, was, I liked him in that one mm. where they're in that RV yeah, we are the, the no Millers. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There's I that. did like him in that. And then there was, uh, he was in a freaking uh, the Prince Caspian movie. Oh, really? And he was an annoying little fucker in that movie. I oh, guess he I never was saw so it. damn annoying. Even though I, he I, was I, like I read a spoiled little books. brat that wouldn't do shit. That and seems then, like, fitting. Yeah. Oh, it was, I wanted him to die. <laughs> well, yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah. He paid for his sins. Ultimately. Now. It's um, a full circle, circle moment for me. <laughs> um, but back to Chris, Christian. Christian. Yeah. I just, I love have as my notes is like, oh, Christian's a douche. Yeah. I put, he's a fucking dick. Yeah. And the way she has to suck up to him so he mm-hmm. doesn't seem so annoying. Oh, yeah. Cause and she's just be like, like, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Like, I'm overreacting. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So she's definitely like buying into his gaslighting, mm-hmm, which is so the important sad. thing is like already emotionally unhinged. And has no one, like, who's supposed to be her boyfriend to, like, support her. Mm-hmm. So, and then I we mean, get that phone call of her with her friend being like, yeah, he should what if be I scared him off? And no, and she's just like, that's what a normal boyfriend is supposed to do. Like, yeah. you're supposed to be supportive. It's his job to be there for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, if not, like, that's what, like, it's kind of it's what you sign up for, you know? Yeah. You just got to be there for each other. Exactly. Um, And so, yeah, I was like, and then we get, um, uh, for some reason, I have his friends are shit. I think they're talking on the phone, right? And his friends are in the background. Yeah. So mm-hmm. while she was talking to him or talking to her friend, she gets a call from an unknown caller. It beeps in. There we go. And then it flashes to, yeah, all of them sitting around That's right. at, I guess, a bar or a mm-hmm. restaurant or something. And they're telling him, like, also, too, he's been wanting to break up with her for like a year. Over a year. Who, who does that? Yeah. Why haven't you done it yet? Just fucking do it. Rip that band aid off. Actually, I think I've done that. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> kind done of that. <laughs> for over a year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, mm-hmm. you have your reasons. But right, like, basically, I, feel I like... mean, I kind of knew that it wasn't right. Yeah. And then I just kept going. Mm-hmm. Um, I've actually done that a lot of times. Well, sometimes you got to but... pan out. Sometimes you got to follow it because sometimes things can turn out turn, right. Yeah. They never do. But, no. uh, see, but it could. Mm-hmm. And if you wouldn't have done that, you would have been left with the what if. Yeah, yeah. That's so true. it's better and, to have tried, and that's exactly what he says. He's like, "What if I do it and then I want her back, and I can't get her back because I've burned some bridges," which is like, 
Well, Sometimes that's, I mean, if you're on the fence about match. it, that you can't. Well, especially too, I mean, I, he's also, he's so, well, one, he might just be like a, an actual dick. And it seems like he's an actual dick to everybody, not just her. Cause yeah. Later on in the movie, we see what he is, what he does. But like, he fucking throws Cheaty under the bus. Uh, yeah. Like Josh. Cheaty. And then literally, like, I, also, th- I always forget and, his name and, every time I watch it. And copying, and cheating. copying him. And like, like, what? He's just, yeah, he's, a he's just asshole, a really. Yeah. Uh, they, he plays the character well because mm-hmm. he really makes you not like him. Um, but yeah, it, he, he's just an overall dick. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but I had a moment. But we fucking. I had him. a train, and I just got <laughs> so like rage took over. Literally, I got red. You saw red. Literally, okay, um, I don't even remember where I was going with that. But yeah, sorry. He's a dick. They were sitting there talking yeah. around the table. Pele at one point says, "Don't forget about all the Swedish women you can impregnate in June," which is like, yeah. Oh damn! There's another like. Here's exactly what's gonna happen because mm-hmm. he's gonna impregnate a he's Swedish woman. I didn't even think about that, June. but that is funny. Mm-hmm. And also just showing too how Bella is like. You later get to realize like this man is manipulative. Mm-hmm. He is like playing like both sides of this, trying to orchestrate it all. Like, yeah, it's, because it's, uh-huh. he seems to be on Danny's side. Like so yeah, much. to be like sympathetic and then be like, oh, he forgot your birthday. Like kind of like mm-hmm. you know like. He was he was driving the like the wedge bus. between them. Oh, that yeah. He yeah. was also driving a bus. I don't know. He yeah. drove the car. He drove the car into the village. I was, <laughs> but um, shh. and so oh, um, so yeah, it was just there's a lot going on. <laughs> My notes just we say have, fuck you, eyebrows, such a dick. And then we, is that uh the uh, Christian? Uh, eyebrows or, is who's Christian? Mark. Oh, Mark. Ma- oh, he does because have bushy eyebrows. His eyebrows are so like they're like little tents, mm-hmm. little V's. Mm-hmm. He's like he's smelled something. Like yeah. he's questioning something. Yeah. Um. And so we unfortunately get to find out because then he gets a call and there's just complete sobbing on the phone. Yeah, just screaming. Screaming. And no, 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 no. Um. It's like, yeah, that's really hard. It's hard to watch and listen to. Apparently, to Florence. Um. Pew. Yeah. Lawrence Pew. Pew. I was Pew. like, I'm not even gonna attempt her last name. Florence Pew. Pug. Um, yeah. Florence Pew. 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 Um, she does not like crying on screen. Like she oh. can't actually cry on command like uh, a lot of uh-huh. actors can. And she's like, it's a very like intimate thing, and I don't feel like that needs to be seen. Mm. And I was like, she did a real damn good job of making this yeah. believable, though. Never. In the, I guess you're right. Never in the movie was she like. And like tears, it was more like a type of cry where it's like, yeah, your whole yeah, body is roll. Just yeah, yeah. Which, oh, that moment later on when like she's that. walking away and she walks by that building and just like, I'm like, oh, I've had a moment like that mm-hmm. a couple times. Damn, I know that feeling. Where yep. like no, no sound even comes out. You're just like in agony. Yeah, yeah. I've That's crazy. There as well. I love Not it. Fun. It kind of makes life worthwhile, doesn't it? It makes you. Uh, aware of your life <laughs> um, and so yeah th- her sister essentially poisoned monoxide her family out mm-hmm. um, she so next left, level like, shit yeah because the way it was orchestrated there's like tubes like going from the garage all the way to where it goes into the parents bedroom and she, and she sealed taped it, it under. and then she like taped it to her mouth and uh-huh. you could tell I think she was probably throwing she, up yeah, and because like up. it was like all going on over her uh-huh. And like and then you just all like messages from Danny on the computer. Or new messages. Yeah, yeah. I honestly don't know. Like, I guess I mean suicide is one thing, but like then taking out other people with you. <laughs> yeah, little, that's that's dark. That is. But we don't know what was going on in that household. Yeah. That's we true. We truly don't know. We don't. Mm-mm. We have no clue. What if dad touched her and then like mom was covering it up, hush hush. Mm-hmm. Or what if some other shit happened and she was just so mentally tormented by it? She was like, We all gotta go. Yeah. We can't we can't be here anymore. She had bipolar disorder. And that as well. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill no one. Mm-hmm. No, but, we're all safe. Yeah. How does that uh mm-hmm. like does that make you feel any certain type of way that like they include that? Or um, that like I don't know. Like, with like, like there's like, like a, a stigma, thing. maybe. Well, yeah, I feel like all the time bipolar disorder is, has a stigma attached to it mm-hmm. because people people use the term bipolar in it's such a not even when they don't way. have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like, oh, like, I'm so bipolar, and it's like you're nah, being bipolar. Actually, when, you're yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> Just going, getting like mad every now and then doesn't make mm-hmm. you. There's a whole lot of other shit that yeah. goes into it's it. It's a chemical imbalance. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's it's a serious mood disorder. Mm-hmm. Um, and so like it can it can it can fuck with you and make you. There's there's like one part where 
you know, when she was going to the um, outhouse and she's just like sitting there like, no, no, it's OK. Like, it's OK. Don't think like that. Don't think yeah. like that. And like the way um, that I she does the, there the, all the, the first time. mushroom tea yeah. uh, thing. And I've been oh. like having to re- console myself and stuff like because mm. then there's often times where it seems like I'm just a passenger in my own body. And it's like my brain just starts my basically my body just starts doing things that I mm. don't necessarily want to happen. Yeah. Um, or like it just everything gets too loud in my like head. Autopilot and I just think it, yeah. And bit. then I'm just like sitting there watching and horror most of the time being like fucking don't do that don't do that it gives me very like get out do it yeah like you're in the the, Uh uh-huh yeah Yeah, i'm in the sunken place sunken place Mm -hmm. just watching as like it's a a tv yeah like a movie yeah Mm. that's basically what it feels like i mean especially when i'm in sort of going episodes yeah Mm -hmm. so super Mm. fun yeah um i i mean I don't know. I'm glad it's that a you're very okay real to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very it, real like part of it though. Like, I mean, suicidal thoughts and stuff like that is like mm-hmm. super common. Um, yeah. For sure. And I think especially nowadays, like there's like such a like turmoil and just like everything that we've been through with the yeah. past few years. Everything like, just like bullshit right yeah. now. <laughs> so like, and then like we're, the future kind of seems a little bleak mm-hmm. even with like just kind of everything, like the world issues, yeah. like our own issues here in the States, like our own issues with like climate, our own issues with like everything's freaking fucked. aliens are now popping up. Like Yay. what? <laughs> like, there's just so much now happening that it's like, yeah. yeah. Octopi are from. Octopus. Are yeah, from they're, another they're planet aliens. they've said. They're aliens. That's Cloverfield. They don't know it's how coming. they got here, yeah. but they're aliens they're, because the way that they've evolved is like they've skipped a few too much to like for them to even be here. Mm-hmm. So I'm down for it, though. I love octopus. I believe they're so fucking smart. They are. They can get in out of anything. They like mess with the jars and shit. Mm-hmm. I, if they could walk on land, which they can, but I mean, like actually like without having to like imagine if they got even more sentient and created like little jars that they put on their head, that, like it. water and then just like started killing us. Yeah. You know, I read I a tweet the other day, too, that was, like, the scariest thing was would be for, like, aliens to come from outer space and go into the ocean and be there for only a few days and then leave. Yeah. Ooh. Who were they talking to? What were they doing? Who were they talking to? Yeah. It's the octopus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, I fully believe it. They are actually God, and they're controlling us. H.P. <gasps> Lovecraft like had that. it right. Oh, uh, that's a really good series. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm really sad that it got canceled. Did you watch what, the show? The, call of, the actual show. Call of the, Cthulhu or The Rise of Cthulhu? With Hara Hijahara. Well, just like they, they made a what show on it? HBO on Lovecraft. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like taking HP one of the. Lovecraft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Like taking one of the stories. books or yeah, cool. one of the stories. Yeah, no, it's, really, it's really cool, actually. It's really good. I just got HBO Max like right now. So Ooh, you should, it's really good. Right now watch I'm watching it. all the Miyazaki films. And there's a lot of beautiful people in it as well. And um, beautiful people. And now, a word from our sponsors. As if the McCrispy couldn't get any better, Bacon and Ranch just entered the chat. The Bacon Ranch McCrispy, available at participating McDonald's for a limited time. Ba da ba ba ba. And so anyways, yeah, um, we get her sobbing. We get like the pan of like, I love how we're still only five minutes in this movie. And then um, we have. Yeah, the transition shot out the window with the snow and then it comes yeah, back yeah, in again with, with mm-hmm. it clearly being springtime, mm-hmm. which was like super cool. So that was just a really nice way to notate a passing of time. I thought that shot was very creative. A passing of time. You're right. Yeah. But also, to no, because they're in the same hemisphere, aren't they? So they would still be having the same seasons Mm -hmm. because they go to, where is this? Sweden? Sweden. Sweden, right? Would they be experiencing the same season as us in the States? Yeah. I mean, they still, they were still celebrating the summer solstice. Okay. Because that's what midsummer is. Yeah. I'm too confused. So let's continue. <laughs> but so I think I think Midsummer had already popped up on the screen a while back yeah. because at this point it's basically 
she's sitting there sobbing and uh-huh. cr- Christian's arms and stuff. And it pans out the window behind them. And it's like all the snow coming down. Uh-huh. And then it comes back in basically. Because it's then like, it gets like, this is a film by, and then like, cause it has those little credits in it. Doesn't it? Oh, maybe yeah. I might've missed yeah. that. Uh-huh. Cause then I thought and it was it just a, a sharp transition to an outside shot. And then it just comes back in the room with her. It's springtime. Cause there's like mm-hmm. trees that are green. And then she's asleep. Not asleep. She's staring She's at a like wall. Looking at the wall. Yeah. yeah. And that painting and we, above her bed is also another foreshadowing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it's a real painting. I forgot the name of it. Oh, really? But um, it's got a little girl or a, a girl. Mm-hmm. I guess bears are pretty fucking big. Yeah. Um <laughs> With a crown on, and then a bear. Yeah. And that's really what goes on. Maybe the there's a few <laughs> moments her and, of, Christian. her and Christian. Yeah. And then he just happens to come in, and mm-hmm. then he's like, "I'm gonna go to that party," and I'm like, "And Boy, then she's like, 'I'm gonna go.' I'm like, "Yeah, I'm like, it's probably been, I think it's been like two weeks or something like that, or not even then." It's I feel like, like it had been a few months, yeah, at that point, because it was like hardcore snowing. Mm-hmm. And then at this point, basically, he's saying that he was gonna go to Sweden in June. That's right, like yeah. in two weeks. And if you, mm-hmm. so it had to There's have been a time lapse. had to have been like three or four months. Um. And so, yeah. So, uh, anyways, they go to this party, and that's whenever he, their friends are talking, and that's whenever this trip gets brought up. And then she, I love the look that she gives him because it's such a like such a like I've been in that moment where I'm like, wait, what? The fuck? Like, yeah. Like, I, when this, the hell were you gonna tell you didn't me? Tell, you didn't tell me that shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I should be the like first person. And it's the eyes that he looks at her because he obviously knows like she didn't know about that, mm-hmm. and it's he's just kind of like, mm, yeah. He's like, but I'm not and, gonna go. Yeah, he was like, if like, I went, like, yeah. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. he He's, I don't like his character. He's such a coward. He's such a, like, just spineless little prick. And so, anyways. um, So, yeah, he's, he's uh, kind of being douchey about it as well when too. she's <laughs> probably. Later. Maybe um, he's a girl. Oh, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. and so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she, he's, he's, a, he's also gaslighting her because she's then now apologizing and being like i'm sorry for you reacting the way i did i just didn't know and uh, you yeah, know i just, just wanted confused. to know i'm confused and the way that like, he says i'm sorry question mark it's yeah. like no, it's fuck like you, no dude. if we've been dating for four years i have uh, a pretty good yeah, like right to just time. kind of like know that you're gonna be going somewhere yeah like, not just like oh hey bye i'm not here anymore especially too with what she, like she is she needs someone there mm-hmm. to like help she her. She literally She's just going lost through a lot. all of her closest family members. Yeah. So her immediate family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And ugh, to God, yeah. Just the way that he's talking to her. He's like, I apologize. And she said, you said, sorry, that doesn't mean. Yeah. Like, it's very that's much like, sorry, I got caught. Like, yeah. yeah. And it's giving much sore, much more like, He's not asking for permission, but like just asking for forgiveness. He's like, I, I told you about it. And she said, you told me you thought it would be fun. A cool mm-hmm. idea, but mm-hmm. you never actually said, hey, I'm, I'm going go to this. Sweden. Yeah. And he was like, I, I just decided today. And she's like, you already have a fucking ticket. <laughs> like, well, ultimate, ultimately, as well, like, most people don't. She honestly, too, doesn't give me the vibes of like, if she would have told her, like, I want to go here with my friends, I feel like she would have been like, okay, okay. Yeah. Go. She was very agreeable. Yeah. I think that she, she was like, I wouldn't have been mad. Let like, him do whatever the fuck he wanted. Yeah. I think she's just upset because, rightfully so, like, why wouldn't he have run that by her? And so that's she, kind of a big thing. For a month and a half, he's yeah. supposed to be gone. Well, especially too, if you, it's one thing to like, maybe she would have like saw the tickets at home or something or something came up, saw an email. She's getting told by other people mm-hmm. that he is doing something. That pissed me that's, the fuck yeah. off. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would. The, there's no way I'd be because then you just look stupid. Yes, and one thing is to not tell me, but make me look stupid in front of other people. Nah. God damn, no. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hard. Pass. Give me the hammer, <laughs> <laughs> literally. Um, and so yeah, um, they they get into the little argument. <laughs> They're back, and she ends up basically just kind of, or or more so, he's just like, you can go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, which I also am just like, what is he doing now? Yeah, now he's and. Cause like, he, he, it's just yeah. Anyways, the it's it's all maddening. And it's he, all they, wrong. He gets back with the friends, and then he's telling them and that little group like, oh, by the way, Danny's coming up. Oh, by the way, she's coming with us, she, but she's not actually coming with us. Because, but and even Mark's like, what the fuck do you mean? Yeah. And if Mark is making sense, you're Literally, really not. That's making really sense. bad. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, and also y'all wanted her to, y'all asked her to come. Yeah. Like, and they were just like, okay, because then literally the next second she, she's knocking on the door, and they're like. 
Yeah. And it's so awkward the way, like, they, the, the way they frame it and, like, the camera's on them and she mm-hmm. just walks in and she's just like, hey, guys. And you guys. can, like, see their, you They're can just see like, her and Christian's reflection. And then fucking Mark's the, like, hey, can you come read painting. this? Proofread this? I'm like, uh, it's Closes the most his laptop obvious, and then leaves. most <laughs> obvious, like, you know. Hey, let's go talk about something. Talk about than, her. Uh-huh. Yeah, literally. So, I don't know. And then when we get her talking to Pele, and that's when we also get to kind of see that he um, is g- being sweet to yeah, her. Yeah, he's, he's like, the it's only one like that's being seemingly nice to her. Yeah, he's being a little too intimate. Like, yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Because mm-hmm. he's, it's he regular gets a conversation, touchy with her later. but yeah, he's very like in her space. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Um, and he brings up the fact that his parents died in a fire. Yeah. And he, quote unquote knows what she's going through Mm -hmm. and we see that that obviously like hits a nerve with her because then she breaks and like goes into like a little panic attack but this is like probably like maybe that's one of the my favorite shot in the movie is whenever she is going from like the door into the airplane uh toilet tree toilet yeah um yeah 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 that's really cool such a cool shot it is Mm -hmm. um and and also she's just really good at uh has she had a panic attack before in real life? Because she's really good at acting. Like she's having yeah, a panic attack. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. Yep. That's yeah, me. I mean, I'm sure she must have. That's me. Um, she's not on the ground, but that's me. A few times she is on the ground. You're right. And it's yeah. probably a little. It's cramped in the airplane bathrooms. Um, but so, and while her and Pele were talking before that, this is where we find out she'll be arriving on her birthday. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. he kind of explains that it's a nine day festival with pageantry and stuff. And so that's how we kind of get that story part told to her, to us yeah and um he says like it's a small community kind of thing and as he's showing her the photos of the may queen mm-hmm. he like he was showing her different ones and he pauses on one and as she asks about it he's just staring at her and he was like that's last year's may queen she was like she's beautiful and then that's when he breaks into the parent thing yeah. but it's like that even there he's like you're going to be our May Queen. Mm, mm-hmm. he, it's like he was like... Setting up the, the tone yeah. for what we're going to get. Manifesting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm sure he probably... I mean, because he's bringing them from the outside, he's mm-hmm. the one who he knows. Like, he handpicked her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It, and it's so crazy, too, because, like, had she not then been invited by Christian, who would have been the May Queen? Would it have been Connie? Maybe. Or it could have just been... I, like how would that have I mean, worked? I guess it just would have been whoever was last standing. It could have been someone in the community. Maybe. I don't think maybe that it has to be An because she okay, could have immediately sense. tripped. That makes in sense. The, in That's the dancing true. ritual. How did so. they know that she was going to be all the way at the end? Yeah. That's true. She's but they probably, I mean, the fact that she has so much trauma and basically has nothing left. Mm-hmm. And this is like the first time she's really getting to unleash that maybe they kind of bet on the fact that she can handle and withstand a lot. Mm-hmm. And be the last one standing. Yeah. Because they're know. clearly a people like we don't really get much conversation from any of them other than like the leader ish mm-hmm. people. Uh what's that dude's Father name? Father Odd. Father Odd, which was so odd. odd. So fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> and he was weird himself. He but was. fuck him. Yeah. But but you obviously get like this this the way they are all acting, the looks they give, like they're all very sin- like sentient of like what's going mm-hmm. on and what's about to happen. Yeah, like, they're well, they're to- very aware. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're like, we're gonna kill you. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> literally. Oh my god. Oh, because their mm-hmm. first meeting with Father Odd, he seems like mm-hmm. kind of super awkward as he's like walking away. Yeah, kind of thing. I don't know. It's it's weird, but basically, so obviously they're on the plane. They get to. They get to Sweden. Mm-hmm. They have, you know, a drive in to That's, Stock yeah. from. They land in Stockholm, and they're, um, they're gonna, they got to get to Halstenland, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halstenland. Yeah. Halstenland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something That's what I have like right here. Uh, there was uh, one point I have something that says upside down shot. I guess there was an upside yeah, down shot, right? They, oh, of them in the car, the right? Yeah, and I thought it, that like, was really flips. cool. Yeah, and then then it comes. Back, back down, up around, and then yeah. that's when they're basically in that little field with lots of people. Mm-hmm. They meet um, uh, Pele's brother. Yes. Um, uh, I forget his name. Uh, in Enigmar. Something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something. Ingmar. 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 Yes. Yeah. Ingmar. Um, Ingmar, and then um, I I put oh I can't say I'm Christian oh because they they do this, they want to uh, offer them the stream mm-hmm. tea, and well we also should mention we we meet Simon and Connie, uh, Connie yeah. who are Ingmar's friends from the UK yeah from London. 
Um, they seem really cool, actually. I was they like, did. oh, I want to like be with like I would like I want to hang out with you. Yeah, they seem fuck these very guys. Sweet. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they came in with the beer. Yeah, literally. Um, and, and, and so um, yeah, then they off they get they offer the rest of the gang um this shroom tea basically mushroom tea and miss uh or it's not mushroom tea there's actual mushrooms yeah, yeah but there's actual they mushroom offer flavor. her mushroom that's tea. that's right because In she's kind of like i want to trip later but then christian's like well i'm gonna wait with you mm-hmm. which also in his tone is very much like i don't really want to do this but i'll do it and she's offering the chance to just do it yeah and, too. and then the other guys are like are you oh, gonna do this do with it. this and yeah. then he's like or y'all can times. wait right like i'm just like uh i'm just like i don't like him anyway so everyone's tripping um and at you know kind of first She's kind of having a, a pretty good trip. Like, mm-hmm. it seems like they're all kind of there enjoying, like, you know, the the atmosphere. It's really, I love that um, you can see the, like, grass going through her going hand. Through her it's hand, really yeah. cool shot. And then, like, you see the Feels waves. Feels like she's quite literally becoming a part yeah. of that place. And I love because for me, too, um, I've, I've tripped on acid before. And I think it was a really good depiction of, like, how I've heard trip, that it was it, one of the most, like, accurate visual representations yeah. of what it's like whenever you take shrooms or everything's acid. wavy yeah i just saw it. everything's wavy and you can like see sound and color it's weird and that the earth is breathing yeah yeah, yeah. uh-huh i oh i've got a really bad story though oh but not like good story i mean like no it's a good thing but not a like oh where i was ah okay i had gone to dallas went to a concert got handed out we were all oh here we're, oh, we're doing acid okay let's do it <laughs> i'm like okay i've never done it before let me hey. do it um and and so anyways did it um we went to uh my fr- i was with two other friends and we went with their friends of friends like place oh shady shit going on there after like two in the morning we're like oh i don't think we're down for this like there was other shit going on oh. and we're just like oh no this is not our kind of party this is and this is a lot and then we we're trying to leave and then they wouldn't let us leave because oh. they were like no you're tripping you cannot leave you got to stay here like you're gonna hurt yourselves like this and that and we're like you know what i think we're, we'll take our chances like we're all right we were not all right but we ended up leaving and then my other two friends were tripping harder than me i would say so they could not drive so that's us driving from dallas like 3 a.m i'm driving and i'm back to went, waco back to waco no. and when i tell you when i know i'm sorry to everybody on the road i didn't kill anybody and so um this is really this is what i mean like this is i i don't do this anymore um but <laughs> and it was a one-time thing but yeah uh yeah i'll tell you the you know, have you ever played um, Mario Kart, Rainbow, yeah. ha- Rainbow, the Rainbow Highway, yeah. and how it's like that's literally Rainbow how road. the road was for me. Like, oh, and it was like a snake, like moving, like, like you're and, just on a little roller coaster. I, yeah, and all I could literally do, I was literally for like an hour and a half, just like looking at the lines, and even the lines were like doing this, but I knew that I'm like I'm in the line, so I'm I'm good as long as I stay in the line. And I kid you not, I was like that. As they oh were, God, like, just so listening scary. to music and stuff. And I was just, like, like concentrating so hard. Ugh. Yikes. Well, I'm glad you're alive. Yeah. That no one did die. And so, anyways, yeah, they're tripping. <laughs> and then uh, Mark mentions. Mark they, is. Oh, this is the only time where I like word. Mark. <laughs> well, he says that you're all, like, my family, right? Yeah. And that. Tr- Sorry, not that part. The, his, the part before him is the part oh, that I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's like. I don't like. He's the, like, I don't like that. That's not right. Why uh, is this set up? Everybody yeah. lay down. Because it's. Uh, <laughs> we should also mention, I guess, because of where they're at geographically, they they don't get that much darkness. Yeah, it's they call, just like, called much, it the midnight sun. It was yeah, nine p.m. Literally, and but he was like, as "That's as not right. The sky is blue. How mm-hmm. can it be nine p.m.?" And, and even like, when it's, uh, I guess, technically nighttime, they still don't really get that dark. It's just kind of dusk. Mm-hmm. That's it, and then it's bright again. When I was in Scotland, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I never saw the sunset. Really? Yeah. I mean, I also was going to bed pretty early because we'd get up pretty early. Mm-hmm. But it di- it for sure didn't set until like past 11 or something p.m. That's crazy. And then it was up by like 5 a.m. It was like because we, we were camping. Yeah. And it was like, oh, OK. It's so weird out. that that happens gotta be awake. like <laughs> in places or like in Alaska where they have like you know some days of night and some days of mm-hmm. just day like I feel like it my mind so would be so thrown off. I'd probably like <laughs> disassociate or go crazy. Yeah, because we have such a I'm like normal that way. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd be I like, feel like oh, I could be so, so much more productive in another country, though. Probably the sun being up all the time. Mm, maybe like, I feel like probably our we would be different. We wouldn't be the way we are. Maybe even yeah. just like based on like growing up in different areas. Mm-hmm. Like that's crazy how like one little thing d- can evol- change everything. Is that evolution or like not? A, but like uh, you know. 
the characteristics that are around us mm-hmm. nature inform versus nature. Nurture. Yeah, based on, you know, how we how we come to be. This is, this is not that kind of podcast. <laughs> All right, you guys. And so, yeah, this she unfortunately goes into a really bad trip. <laughs> And uh, starts walking away, ends up running into like kind of a group of people she thinks they're laughing at her. They probably are, but they probably aren't. We don't know. We don't have yeah. an explanation. I would be laughing at her. And then <laughs> we have her run into Ingmar. And mm-hmm. then he's trying to calm her and say, like, they're like, not laughing at friends. you. Come like, meet my friends. Yeah. But she ends up going to that restroom. Yep. And she's having to calm herself down and be like, you are okay. Yeah. It is okay. And um, whenever she lights ooh. the... Um, the uh, candle, the match, mm-hmm. we get a flash of her sister behind her That's in the right. outhouse mirror. Yeah. And then she has some major facial distortion in that mirror as well. The, the, yeah. I remember. Like it was just like, it looked like almost like a fun house mirror. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a few other times throughout the movie where we get like flashes of like, the family or her mm-hmm. sister or. Um, there's even one that's the in people. the trees. Mm. There's oh, like a yeah, shot yeah. in the trees. It's very subtle, and it's like the tree line looks like her sister's face with the gas mask. Mm-hmm. It, I know in the leaves. In yeah, the, I know it what you're seems about. a little bit like a stretch for me. I I saw it. I definitely saw it. I watched for it this time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was like, mm, I don't know. I would have never saw that unless I had read again articles. <laughs> Yeah, and so after that, she ends up passing out, basically. Yeah, she runs um, into the forest the woods, and yeah. runs to, I guess, a f- little field. Yeah. It looked like, conveniently, and where everyone was about to trek in. Yeah. Or I guess they must have all come to her. I'm assuming they would looked for her. Yeah. They're not <laughs> complete assholes. And we're just like, oh, no, she went somewhere. I'm sure yeah. they were like, wait, where'd she end up going? Pele, um, for sure, yeah. was like, let's find her. And so uh, they need her. And so yep. they need their May Queen. And she basically kind of was asking, like, how, like what happened or how long she's been there. And they said they don't really know, but they found her six hours ago in that mm-hmm. spot. And now it's time to go. Yeah. Um, because essentially it's the next day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Which is her birthday. Yeah, it is her birthday. Um, happy birthday to you. And um, she, like, realizes that. She's like, so so it's like the next day like yeah. it's tomorrow and then christian's like from yesterday's perspective and which is such a like why can't you just answer the damn question yeah from like and he does why are we say, speaking in riddles happy birthday he should yeah, have said it right there yeah. and you can tell on her face that she's like oh okay we yeah. forgot about it got it very much so yeah. um and so yeah she was out for a long time too honestly like six fucking hours just sitting there like laying there I, what were they all doing like were they just sleeping it like, looked like it cheaty uh, or josh looked like like he, rolling up a, t- a tent or something yeah and, and like why wouldn't rubbing. they have moved her body back into like a tent they just left her outside yeah like <laughs> i mean they, maybe all of them kind of slept on like <laughs> just like just like a little like mats, mm, yeah. sleeping bags or like, something. Because Cheaty looked like he was rubbing the sleep out of his eyes. Mm. I'm gonna keep calling him Cheaty, y'all. I'm sorry. Do it. It's okay. I like that name better. That's that's his. Anyways, name. so his, they end up. His name is literally your name. It's Josh. Yeah, <laughs> they have to. Um, <laughs> that'll keep us from getting confused. And they have to hike to Harga, which is where this all this shit is actually happening. Okay, mm-hmm. so they ended up getting there. It actually looks pretty cool because they have all these cool buildings. They have this nice like big arch and entryway. Um, you see, it's kind of like a cultish community already by the go because of like the way they're dressed, mm-hmm. the way like it looks Amish basically. And it looks, Mark this says, is, we get that little thing where he's like, so we're going to stop at Waco before going to Pele's, going village. To Pele's village. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it was kind of like a little dig because of David Koresh and the, what do they call the later day saints or uh, I don't know. What it is the called. church of the latter day saints or seventh day Adventist. Adventist. Something yeah, like that. I think it's the seventh day Adventist, but they're crazy. Uh, what was it called? <sighs> Crap. The, oh my the God. The David Koresh shit? Yeah. Their, what was their name? I don't remember. I honestly don't know. Mm. I've been to that place too. Yeah, me too. It's real the fucking compound. haunting. Yeah. Did you see the school bus with like all the snakes in it and dug into the ground or something like that? No. So they had built like Did a church. Did I get church. the VIP tour? Uh, <laughs> they were about to murder me. <laughs> it was, it was, a. Uh, they had built like a new chapel by the uh, time yeah. I went to it on uh, like that site. I, 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 you know what, too? It's funny because I don't know why my dad, if we ever had family coming out from anywhere, he'd be like, we're going to go to the compound. We're going to go to the site. I got to show you. I've been there so many times. I've been like there four or five times yeah, <laughs> by the time once. I was like 12. And like, and that's why like, I don't for the life of me remember how to get there. I remember kind of like the, like when we leave our house, 
the, but then I'm like, I just remember always Branch like, Davidian. Yeah, Branch Davidian. There, there we go. Sorry, I, I had to Google. Yeah, it you're right. I was like, this is gonna drive me insane. I just know I end up there, and I, yeah, I've been there a few times. So maybe that's <laughs> why I've got like line. a bunch of different iterations of it. Maybe they would change it up. Yeah. And well, the, <laughs> apparently, no. There was. I mean, the school bus thing was real. It being like, yeah, that was how they were gonna like that was like their bunker right and that's yeah, how all the it women and children died yeah was in that they got like basically trapped in there because something had fallen on the door and that's, that's how all of them died mm. um anyways yeah so nice little comment from mark um the whole time then, mark's also being very afraid of bugs and oh, his yeah. fear of ticks comes from Ari Aster's actual fear oh. of yeah, the, the, ticks the ticks in the area um, and everything. So that's why he's like, so that's why I was thrown in. It's because Ari Aster was like, oh, they've been carrying ticks diseases. Mm-hmm. They, they do. They carry that limes. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we have him meeting basically uh, Paley's introducing them to like his twin sister, uh, an old guy. They father odd, right? Yeah. Like, father odd. And um, as he hugs Danny, he says, welcome home to it's her. Really he weird. says, welcome, 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 welcome home. As he hugs her. Welcome. Uh, I didn't even catch that. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's creepy. And um, then we get uh, like music, and then a hor- the horn goes off. All the off. music is so fucking good. It's um, like so dissonant yet mm-hmm. harmonious at the same time. Like it's a complete yeah. contradiction, mm-hmm. and it just makes it makes everything feel so wrong yet also so mm-hmm. right. Well, because even the so whole beautiful. time, like it's, it's a horror. M- in essence, it's it's a horror movie. But like it's daytime was the, the mm-hmm. movie, which also just makes it even it, you think like it we make talked it about feel in safe. the strangers. Yeah, but it doesn't make it feel safe. Doesn't. It makes it feel even worse. Yeah, like this, this is all is just happening. happening in broad daylight. People are just like going to HEB and shit, and this shit's happening at ten fucking a.m. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, that's yep. creepy. It's happening right in front of their eyes. Literally, like I mean, you can literally hear uh, Connie screaming at one point, mm-hmm. and oh. everyone's kind of like, I hear a woman screaming. And it was right after Connie, yeah. I don't remember. I'm going to have to go back and and find that My closed captioning also says woman screaming in distance. Mm. But if you, like, have it up loud enough, you can hear it. Yeah. And because there's at one point where Danny kind of goes, mm-hmm. And then so does Mark. Mm -hmm. Mark actually hears it, too. Mm. That's Uh, when they're at the table? uh, Uh, Mark, it was, this is when he was standing outside the big uh, temple, the yellow temple okay. and he was like looking at that woman and he was like oh she's looking at me oh and that's then right she gets the bucket yeah, and yeah, like yeah, goes yeah, back yeah. in uh-huh. kind of thing and then the little kid comes up it's time for supper that's right or lunch or whatever the fuck um yeah so we got uh the main lady i guess their leader um yeah. talking in Sf- swedish for at first but then is like oh let me speak english for the non-native speakers native oh, speakers and a lot of the swedish was like actually not translated or like a lot of it was intentionally left um, yeah, mm-hmm. unsubtitled to so that way, make the viewer feel as just, just as, as in lost. the dark as they are. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she's basically, it's the introduction of the 90 year, you know, great feast and festival. Um, she's explaining how that happens. Um, and we then get a little quick shot of their uh Ruben. Ruben, right? That's the, the oracle name. The child. Oracle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was Sia. Um <laughs> and so the hair is very similar, huh? <laughs> it was, yes. <laughs> I was like, oh they got Sia for this. And so um yeah, it's basically she's just they're just talking about that. And then they start uh, their celebrations, their festival, they kick it off. Mm-hmm. Um um we get a shot of the little red head, which apparently ends up being Pele's sister. Later on, he mentions that's his sister. Well, they're them? all they're all brother and sister, brother I guess, sister. right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. that's why he. Uh, um, uh. I think he refers to all of them, and like Got so it. that girl, <clears throat> they weren't actual it twins. Sin, they right? were just born on the same day. Gotcha. So their life cycle, I guess, is exactly kind of lined up. The same. Yeah, because like, that's how they they get everything planned together by having mm-hmm. all these babies, and they schedule everything together. Yeah. That's because they. Uh, we get explained later. They believe their lives are in seasons. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's which was I thought was cool actually yeah to be age i was like oh i want to live my life like that i know there's a lot of there's a lot of point parts in here where i'm like okay this makes sense and then i was like not me like about to join this fucking cult yeah i'm like i'm ready literally (laughs) um and so we have um they start uh it's oh that little girl the redhead she's in the bathroom and she breathes weird she does like (gasps) 
Yeah. The, so like inhale, exhale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's kind of the first time. I guess she's already starting her ritual. Yeah, of like she's ready to, to snare Christian. Mm-hmm. And the people are making the weirdest noises. That's what I've got on my uh, <laughs> thing as well. Mm-hmm. She kicked Christian um, mm-hmm. because at this point we have them all joining hands and they're doing that little cool thing where it's kind of like a conga line. Conga line. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking exactly. Yeah. Um, but it's not conga. It's like a, just, just a fun little, dancey. we're dancing in circles. It almost looks like that little fun, uh, how do you say fun? Um, that little game on like old phones, snake. Oh and yeah. And you would not try to like eat yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is like that. And this is where Simon comes in and he asks, what are the kids playing? And oh, yeah. they say skin the fool, <laughs> which is, uh, a kind of a foreshadowing towards Mark's death. That's true. Because they are going to skin him. Skin the fool. He is yeah. the fool. He's the fool who peed on the ancestral tree. Yeah. Um, and he's and just also, a fucking idiot the whole time. why are a lot of child's games and stuff like... Uh, I mean, every single nursery uh, rhyme ever. like a bad thing. Yeah. Like the bubonic plague. Yeah. Or that Ring around the rosy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes. We all fall down. Literally Death. everyone's dead. Yeah. The ring around the rosy was the sign of the plague. And yeah. then he had a pocket full of posy, I believe, to help with the stench. Of like Ooh. your body, yeah, so. I believe it because they were all pussy uh-huh. and disgusting. Pussy, ooh, bubonic, man, it's gonna it's gonna come back in full force. Watch by the end of the year. I'm, I'm calling <laughs> by it. By the end of the year, I'm calling it we're bubonic, all be dead. bubonic and polio. Yeah, bring back the plague with, masks. along with monkeypox, plague doctors. Um, and so, anyways, um, after that, we get um. Oh, this is where Pele gives her. Hit her birthday pencil. drawing. Oh, that's right. Up the little portrait. Which is weird. Yeah, and he's like, "Sorry if that was out of line," kind of thing. And she's and like, also, no, why beautiful. even say sorry if that was out of line? Because then, what were you even implying? Yeah, exactly. Well, I would, would you, if that was just a friend thing. I'd been like, "Oh, look, I drew a cool picture of you. Happy birthday!" Yeah, I like to draw. Here you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or no. if you're my brother, say, "Hey, I drew you this photo." Of you uh, naked? No, my brother. No, no, not your brother. Oh, okay. But I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, no. Uh, but, but see, that would be weird. Yes. Yeah. Then he made me pay for it, though. What? My brother did. The you picture that he drew for me. Oh, it was like okay, a hand yeah. holding balloons, and he was like, that'll be $15. Gotcha. <laughs> like, oh, okay. It's a brother. <laughs> and so um, we have then uh, all that shit happening. You, The oh, picture, the- Ingmar is weird. I have Ingmar being weird for some reason, and I don't know why he's being weird. Um, he So basically they were walking, and this is where <sighs> he was right. like, well, Connie and I were actually dating when Simon met. And Simon met Connie, and then and she's like, "We we went on, on a date. date, yeah." And I didn't even know it was a date, yeah. So, and he was like, "Well, okay, I meant to say we were friends. We were friends." And it was like, uh, "No, you no, didn't." You did it. And it's being weird, yeah. and yeah, from the get go. I'm and like, "How long has he known these people? They must be just like coworkers or something. He doesn't really know them that well." Yeah, because now they're engaged. Yeah, uh, but yeah, she's it engaged seems, to Simon. Seems like maybe he is wanting to get back at them for oh. that, possibly. I don't know. Oh, I didn't think about it that way. You're right. And that's why you brought them. Mm. Because he could have brought anybody. Mm -hmm. And he brought them. That's true. But then then they basically split off. Pele Mm -hmm. is going to go take them to the um, sleeping quarters. Mm -hmm. And then they were walking past, like, the bear in the cage. And Simon's like, are we just going to fucking ignore that? And then this is where we go basically see the love story. The love story, yeah. Including the use of rooms, pubic hair, menstrual blood to basically hypnotize a man and make him fall in love with you. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a whole process. It is. I don't think I'd have the energy. No. No. That's too much. I never want to like. How to cook your own pubic hair? Yeah. Like. I mean, that's pretty easy, I guess. But you it's just, just a lot. I don't know. She had to put the thing under his bed and then, like, go. Yeah. And it's just a lot. Bleed into a little cup. Mm. His little drink is so pink compared oh to some other people's later but, on. Yeah. So uh, beautifully drawn, though. Beautifully illustrated. Mm-hmm. I'll give and it the that. sleeping quarters mm-hmm. are so fucking beautiful. Yeah. With all the oh, art all on those. the wall and the ceiling. Yeah. Um, so cool. Yeah, and then we we have I, I put the set design as immaculate because mm-hmm. all the pieces pretty much throughout the whole movie they created their own little world there, so it was yeah. pretty cool. It was beautiful. Um, Florence Pugh, I heard, uh, heard an interview of her saying how like fun it was and like freeing and liberating was as an actor to like be able to have like that whole set out there because they really felt like you know they were in it, like yeah. it was so real for them. It's, uh, so a lot of this, obviously, the set is um, supposed to be in Sweden, but mm-hmm. a lot of it was shot in Hungary. Mm-hmm. And another place. And then I think all the American shots that were supposed to be in like New York and stuff were in like Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny There's how something. the power of like 
Hollywood cinema, like yeah. how you can really make things look a lot different than they are. The new uh, Scream movie, it's supposed to be set in New York, but it's being shot in Canada. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And they like recreated like NYC and like I forget which town in, in Canada. That's yeah. so weird. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm That's excited really for it. Um, and so, yeah, um, we have her looking at all the pictures of all the uh, May Queens. Yeah, the wall mm-hmm. of May ke- Queens. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is where we also get the breakdown of their life cycle. Their cycles and they just seasons. Yeah, yeah that's spring right. is 1 through 18 when you're a baby. Mm-hmm. 18 through 36 is your is their summer. Which is like a pilgrimage. Their pilgrimage, called, right? yeah. yeah. And then 36 through 54 is your working age, and that's fall. And then 54 through 72, I guess you can assume is winter. Um, mm-hmm. They don't really say winter, I don't think. But... I mean, mm-hmm. all of their dresses and stuff were like gray in mm-hmm. those winter tones. Um, and this is where Danny asks, "What happens at seventy two? And he's just like, and then Paley just kind of like, yeah, yeah. He does. He literally goes like this, and she just laughs because she's like, "Ha funny, right?" But he's literally not even joking. No, just like, and I like how it's just they were so upfront a lot of the times from the get go, and, and they're just like, like "Yeah, well." Because then at one point, whenever he says, "This is what's going to happen tomorrow," Chidi Josh is like. I, I think he says it's like as to as as hestupa or something. Mm-hmm. He says it's like a word like that. Um, and Josh basically knows what it is. Yeah. And he was like, but like not like a real one. Right. Like not for real. Because mm, yeah, it's basically the sacrificial like death of your old people, I believe is what it is. Mm, okay. That yeah. some cultures and stuff like subcultures like that do. would do. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, a lot of it, too, because a lot of things happen in this movie like with the elders where it's like to us, it's so like shocking, but then you kind of have to put yourself also like the characters, even the movie in the perspective of like, Oh wait, well this is customary for them. So it's not necessarily. Yeah. Which is why I feel like Chidi is different. so able uh, to, so because he was everything. looking at it through an anthropological ex- perspective. Mm-hmm. For the Fun fact, that was my original major when I went to Baylor. Anthropology. Anthropology. Yeah. Super cool. What I, do I did like it. Just like cultures and like. Yeah, um, it's the study of culture okay, is quite right. literally what it means. Okay, cool, And cool. the study of like people. Mm. So, I mean, which is what culture it's is. It's important. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but basically, yeah. So he, Chidi this whole time, like kind of knows everything that's going on. And he's, but he's able to just kind of brush it off because he's like, well, this is what they do here. So, mm-hmm. okay. Oh, um, Pele. This is, we also get, it, well, we don't see him, but we also get implied that this is where Christian got reminded by Pele that mm-hmm. it was Danny's birthday. Yeah. Because he then t- escorts her outside and tries to light that little cupcake and sing her happy birthday. Gets the most pathetic birthday uh, display so ever. stupid. Yeah. With it's the weird just, woman You might as well not background. have even, like, done it. Yeah. yeah. It, she's eventually like, just stop. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Because obviously for, you forgot. Because at first it's, he does, he tries to play it off like he forget, didn't forget. Right? And then he's like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I was, and I'm just like, which one like, is you should it? Be mad, and then she's like, "I should be mad." Yeah, and the way that she breathes to blow out the candle seemed mm. very similar to their <gasps> mm-hmm. that they do You're right. multiple times. So I don't know if that was intentional, but like all throughout everything, like through the grass growing through her hand and mm-hmm. going into her feet, like I feel like she's just very mm-hmm. much easily able to become a part of this community. You're right. Yeah, like it's kind of already meant for her it's getting set up yeah she's already dipping her toes in the water yeah and so um we have these two um that's whenever they have like a feast it's like dinner Mm -hmm. time and that's whenever we have the old people the elders um dinner uh, breakfast yeah i have no clue yeah what What it is but it's a feast (laughs) i like how all the tables are set up it's pretty cool yeah and we have the elders and it looks like that runic symbol that was in the ritual oh you're right yeah it was like that triangle with the two offshoots it is it looks like the deer me just rubbing this all over me sorry i'm not cutting myself i promise (laughs) please don't um and so um we i don't know if that actually (laughs) is it or not but now i just thought of that right now i think it it could be or if it's not that exact one it could be probably something that's in, uh, in yeah. the same I know, imagine lines. there's so much purpose between literally everything else in, the in movie, this movie that that has to mean something yeah. as well and that everything that they're doing over this nine day period is like mm-hmm. ritualistic to a T and, and so like yeah. I would imagine even the placement and mm-hmm. because like the way that they wait for the people to sit down and then to eat and everything I imagine that's cool how it's like a domino effect yeah it was such a pretty going. just very satisfying and the scene. aerial shot was like, mm. yeah so we get them eating um then after this is when we follow they they put the um elders into these chairs and they get lifted and they get 
to where we're going, which is, I guess we get taken to this like big old cliff area. Mm -hmm. Um, and we see that the, Oh, and we got the weird inhale and exhale. Sorry. I'm following (laughs) along with my notes just behind you. I thought that was maybe a metaphorical last breath of Uh, theirs together and then they're carried off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because yeah, they just stand up at one point after eating, That's and right. then they're like and the, chanting, and they're yeah. doing their <gasps> kind of things. That's true. And making I wonder all sorts what that is. Sounds. Like, I want to ask the director, like, why? Because why throughout the movie is everybody making those sounds? Like, why yeah. do they breathe like that? Like, what's the symbolic? What purpose? is the purpose of it? Yeah, I don't, I'm sure huh. it's probably it means something. Yeah, yeah, and I'm but sure I, it's probably out there somewhere. We we'll have look. to look it up. Yeah. Um. And so yeah, yeah they carried to the cliff. Um, they, they get taken to the cliff. We see that the elders are at the very top. We see that the other people are at the bottom. And already I'm like, oh, I see. I know where this is going. Um, and so we have um, them it's cutting so their bigger. hands. They get blood. They put it on the little kind of tombstone looking thing that has ruins carved onto it. Mm-hmm. We have everybody waiting down at the bottom. Um, we have Danny. We have Christian and Josh watching kind of in anticipation. Mark did not go. Yeah, Mark overslept. Overslept, we find out later. Yeah. Um, and then Simon and Connie are there. And we get to see the old man at the top. And it's a lot of, like, build-up for it to happen. It's the old woman first. Oh, it's, oh, you're right. You're right. It's the old woman. And there's a lot of build-up for it. And someone's either reading from their scripture either above or below. It's the lady below. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's reading from the Ruby Rudd. Rudd R-A-D-R. Yeah. So however you want to say that. And, uh... <laughs> literally God. just takes one step and just plummets down because um, it yeah it is a lot of she does a little dot, yeah and it's, it's a, of course the use of we, silence i the love silence, again and then we get like danny's face and we get christian's face and, and you I get her like, like gasping and grabbing his arm yeah and then that's when you see the fall and i'm glad that she at least <laughs> dove into it because we see how just walking off the cliff does not work out mm-hmm. um uh, she falls and ends up bashing her head and mm-hmm. she's dead. Um, we have uh, when she f- Connie Ooh. and Simon are freaking the f out. They are losing it. And everyone around so. them is like, "What the fuck what? is their problem?" Literally, they're just like, like "I love how the one." So literally, the one guy's like, "Yeah," and like, the lady with the bangs who <clears throat> conducts the May Queen ritual later is like, "She literally is like what?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're looking at each other and it's like, "This is fucking normal. We do mm. this every day." You're being rude. Can y'all yeah. be quiet? Yeah, and so. She's dead, and then we have the old man. And going the amount to of jump. close-ups they just show mm, of me. it is yeah, and especially so with the old man too. And they, I believe I believe he has to intentionally jump like that. Oh, you think so? So they could beat his head in? Yeah, I thought they just beat his head in because he wasn't dead. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Since they had that ready with them, I was like, maybe. Well, I'm he sure maybe it's to probably go off like that. And or maybe it's happened before where people haven't died from falling. Yeah, and then it's just like, like to make sure like, you got to be dead. Yeah. Good. Or it don't have they work. have a nicer way? No. <laughs> Ooh, no. The bashing his brains in with a fucking mallet. Yeah. And we get everybody then the way screaming and shouting and feeling his pain as well as he is getting bashed in. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure if I'm like, uh, so do you, I, I scientifically, I don't think it's possible unless it's magic. They're not really feeling his pain. They're only echoing and like mimicking what he's doing right yeah and i think it's i think that is their moment to grieve i think it's their Uh, collective grief that they're letting out at once mm, because just get it over one and done life yeah okay and then so basically they just fill it all together they fill his pain with him yeah they're Uh, not um, really feeling it okay got it got it kind of just like you know i guess maybe empath a a bit Mm -hmm. they're just being empathetic but yeah i i I think it's their time to grieve. And like you said, one and done. Okay. Gotcha. I said plop on my notes Um, because the way their heads just like also as well. They should literally show it from every fucking Mm -hmm. angle. (laughs) And it's like. (laughs) Simon is not okay with this. No. He's he's, yeah telling them that's not good. Um, And then we have the lady uh, who was reading the Ruby Rika um, is letting them know like this is natural for us. Like at the end of our lives, we don't like to like go out and be old and like, you know. And die in pain. Die in pain or be useless. Though. Like, we just like to take ourselves out and make ourselves, like, you know, repurposed into our, the, yeah, the our, universe, whatever. Our lives are a cycle. We view everything as a circle. And then they point, they say the unb- unborn baby over there will inherit, inherit their names. Mm-hmm. And so, like, basically someone dies and then they get birth to a new life and they get, and they to get that name. That name. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's weird. It is weird. But I see it. I get what they mean. <laughs> um, it's just weird. I mean, un- essentially, too, I mean, it's not like they forced these people to jump. These people no, jumped up on they their... did willingly. Well, I mean, it's one way to look at it because you're, like, indoctrinated. So what else do you believe? Yeah. So it kind of is forced. But also, too, like, they did. We're just like, okay, I'm down for it. They drank the Kool-Aid and like they did she said, Like yeah. she said, when it's my turn, I will be joyous to do th- Like, yeah. I will gladly walk off that Girl. cliff. Ain't nobody lived over the age of 72. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I'm like, my dad is literally like 72. I'm like, and I can only imagine like, he's still spry. I wouldn't want to go out at that age. Maybe like 84. Yeah. That's 86. I don't know. Andrew's grandma's 90 as of this year and she's still got a lot of still doing it. I don't know. It it depends. It depends. Anyways, we're, that's who, all right. And so, yeah, we have. um, I just want to go out at 40. That's what, (laughs) with the bang. (laughs) I hope it's like skydiving or something. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't. I'm scared to go sky. I want to go skydiving. You do? Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of, no, no, never mind. <laughs> now I, I don't. <laughs> I like the idea of it. I think it's really cool, but I, I don't know if I'd actually need it to be a little more controlled. I well, you can know. do those skydiving um, it's just, little rooms. No, it's, yeah, those it, seem silly. It's but. just kind of scary, like jumping out from a plane. It man. is. It is like, very scary. And like for the one in like a bajillion, I get it. It probably, it'll all be safe. But like, I don't want to be the one. The one. And then it's like also just like, it's not like even like that was just a freak accident. Like I willingly threw myself out of a plane mm-hmm. that this like, you know, high. So it's like, you know. Yeah. It's your fault. It literally. <laughs> yeah. And, and so I want to go out in a glorious accident. Mm. Like not. And I've almost made that happen yeah, a few like, times. Josh, please don't say that. Yeah. So, but You're yeah. closer than you think. <laughs> and literally each time it's like the picture in Insidious. The, oh, like the old lady's no. getting closer. Death is getting closer each time. Oh, okay. Um, and so yeah. anyways, um, the, yeah, everybody's echoing the pain. After this, we then get Christian and then they're all walking back. And then Christian's kind of also trying to rationalize it to Danny like well we put our old people in in uh, hospice cares or uh, mm-hmm. what, is it, what are they called uh, uh, nursing, homes. nursing homes and they probably think that's weird to mm-hmm. them and so yeah there's a lot of rationalizing at this point because like how else do you process what you just watched and then to think like wait they're staying we're staying here for like another five more days yeah like, this is like day two or three and already I don't know. happening yeah, yeah. And then it flashes to um, Josh Cheedy just typing away like this mm-hmm. is a fucking normal thing. Mm-hmm. And this is basically when Christian comes in and he's like, yeah, I'm going to do my thesis on this place. What a, what asshole. a fucking dick. Like, if yeah. someone were to come to me and I was doing like a thesis. And then Knowingly. Like, yeah, yeah, and then like, that's the whole reason they're going the, there. Oh, the audacity for him or to be like, think. Uh, I'm I'm open to uh, collaborating. collaborating because you can't come up with your own fucking ideas. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? You're like, you just want to continue to still Chidi's work. For real. And then Chidi at one point, he goes, he, <laughs> he says what, what he's doing, what Christian is doing oh, is unethical. Yeah. And I was like, this really is Chidi. Yeah. And oh, you're this right. This is like him taking pictures of that book. That's how Chidi ends up in the bad place. That's right. So. It is the whole character arc. <laughs> I love the good place. Uh, so good. I'll fudge. Off work. Um, and so, um, yeah, we, I, what a douche uh, collaboration. Simon and the girl are supposed to be leaving. Um, Danny's also trying to leave too. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Pele comes up and that's right where he's being awfully touchy. And then she's also like, uh, Christian could walk in any moment. And yeah. And then he basically says that, uh, that that's what he's talking about. And he was like. I have always felt held by this community. He says his parents burned up in a fire and he was orphaned and, but he never had to suffer. Yeah. Because he always felt held. And then he says, and then that's when he touches her leg and she's like, Christian could walk in at any Mm -hmm. moment. And he says, that's what I'm talking about. Like, do you feel held by him? Um, Does he feel like home to you? Yeah. That's creepy. It is. It's creepy vibes. Then it's also like, damn, he right. Yeah. I she mean, doesn't no, feel for held real. by she him. Does the not whole, at all. like, time, even when she's sobbing and stuff, it doesn't look like she had ever actually been held by him. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, but I then was, it I fucking like, flashes to the panda of the smashed heads as they're going to bake them on the fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And I just have Bella <laughs> Shady. Um, mm-hmm. He's a creep. Something about don't smell it. Someone's not supposed to smell oh, yeah, something. Yeah, he brought out some oh, like, he was weird gonna give her something. Yeah, stone to, like, or to bag. Get all calm her. And she was just like, no, thank you. And he offered it to her like twice, three times. And yeah. she was like, no, I'm good. I'm like, don't smell it. He just pulled out a weird you. pocket sack. And so then Ooh. they're, and also too, like they have like, they have 
things for everything like yeah knocking people out like putting people to sleep mm-hmm. like anyways um and so yeah they she we we get them burning the old people she then asks chidi for a sleeping pill um and then she gets a bad dream and at, there's like we have this whole se- dream sequence yeah um and then the next day the ginger girl is psycho because she's like putting a talisman under uh christian's bed remember oh yeah yeah man and that dream sequence is so the first time i watched it i thought it was really happening okay, yeah for a second and i was like damn these motherfuckers are leaving her yeah what the fuck I, I was like, that is, off. that is terrible. And that to be left alone in that situation is horrifying. Yeah. And then it's quite literally what's about to happen to Connie mm-hmm. or what True. they tell Connie yeah. is happening to her. Yeah. Um, because then we get um, basically. And you see the two blending together with the exhale of the black smoke. And oh, then yeah, that's right. The like you see her family flashing. You see her sister there with the mm-hmm. two dead people from the cliff and everything, and it's like everything's blending together. Like mm. this is becoming it's her, her life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Already, even in the state that she was in. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, I had skipped over to like the the girl putting the love room under the bed, but uh, well, the, yeah, that's where it- jo- Josh um is awake the whole time and sees it mm-hmm. happen. And so that's whenever the next day he's asking, like, cause I guess he it's went so and got creepy it. The way she walks over. And also too. how did her little fucking potion spell still work? If he took the love ruined uh, ruin away. Uh, yeah. ruin away. Anyways, plot hole. Um, and so then, um, the, the they're asking Pele about it. Right. Mm-hmm. And then that's whenever he's like, Oh yeah, that little redhead, she was commissioned to be fucked last year or something like that. Yeah. Basically. And so she's basically, come of age. Yeah. She's come of age and they want her to have sex and have a baby, get impregnated her. her. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mark, <laughs> then that's whenever Mark goes and pees on the ancestry. Yeah. Like tree. a fucking dummy. Oh Lord. Cause, and you know, I don't think they had exactly pointed it out earlier, but you see them take the ashes from and where they, they go put it on the tree and they put it on the tree. Yeah. So uh, it's like, but also too like and the way he's like just facing butt facing everyone else i'm like who does like yeah, wouldn't go you like at least three like, feet more or like into the, the woods, tree line into the woods yeah like, it made no sense but yeah he's just peeing on the dead tree and then we have this uh, brother freaking that crap out yeah um he's losing his mind rightfully i don't know rightfully so but because of what they feel and it's, it's like sacred someone peeing on your parents grave sure like gonna be like, I'm sure my parents would react like that if they like saw someone like peeing on a Bible or something yeah. like that, like because that's their whole thing. So mm-hmm. I'm just like, Ooh, yeah, I went through a Bible because I was trying to get it out of the way of like something, and I got like, and so and uh, you, the worst thing is that I did it whenever church people were over. So I think uh, also too that's probably like, oh, sh- they're like, I made them look bad. Let their son made throw them look bad around here. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> oh, the, yeah. So, anyways, and so. <laughs> Um, people really hold on to their sacred shit. Yeah, they get they get really uh, up in arms about it. Mm-hmm. And so we so that's whenever I guess we figure out kind of um, I'm already getting the uh, like whenever someone does something that they feel like disrespects their thing or is like not like, oh, they don't like this. They, and you're dead. You're chopped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it happened to Simon. It happened to Connie. Yeah, it's about and to happen to Mar- them. Yeah, this Mark's is basically to, where mm-hmm. Father Odd comes in and says like. Someone drove the truck back mm-hmm. and took Simon with him. There's only room for two people, so yeah. he said the most he was like bullshit. Sit it back. Yeah, and Connie's like calling it. She's like, he wouldn't fucking leave me, yeah. kind of thing. Because who leaves and their fiance? I would never like if that was me and Robert. One, I would never split up. Yeah, no, I'd be like, no. I've seen too many horror movies. We're uh-huh. gonna stick together the entire time. Yeah, splitting up when you get to killed. Literally, yeah. no. And and I know like he would never leave me like that. And even if it were to be like if we were supposed to be separated, we would have a discussion like said, about it. And he could like, sit in my like right, I, I could sit sat in his lap. lap. Yeah. Gladly. And he was like, but we don't like to break traffic laws. And it's like mm. <laughs> literally like what? <laughs> That's your reason. And wasn't okay. it a truck? She yeah. could have rode in the bed. the bed. Like what? Mm-hmm. Like it makes no sense. It doesn't. And so anyways, yeah, she is literally, uh, and that's the way that, wh- wh- where does she go? She, he tells her that someone, something, or? Yeah, I guess she's just going to go wait <sighs> yeah, at I guess the truck. We just they no just, longer see Connie. Yeah, and <laughs> then gone. Father Odd kind of walks off, and then it flashes to um, Christian talking with someone, and basically they're saying that the bloodlines oh. are, he was like, do mm-hmm. y'all have a problem with, like, incest? incest? And, he was and like, he's like, oh. All of our oracles are inbred. Yeah, he and said like, the bloodlines are very well preserved, and um, he said sometimes cousins are allowed to mate, mm-hmm. um, but it needs to be approved. And mm-hmm. then he says, but we need to invite outside people, aka Christian, mm-hmm. um, to to fuck. Yeah, basically to help 
Sorry. Mm -hmm. Not let it overlap. And then this is where like Danny comes up and is like, hey, Connie, Simon left Connie. And he was like, oh, okay. He was like, really? What? What a fucking dick. And then he like brushes her off. Brushes it off and goes back to asking more questions. Yeah. And it's like, motherfucker, fuck you. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah. And so then um, after that, I think that's whenever we're cooking, right? She goes to like, she... She's just walking, and then the ladies in the kitchen, like, get her into the kitchen, mm-hmm. and uh, they get her, what, they're cooking, like, pot pies? or like meat, Yeah, meat pies. Meat, meat pies, which is... And ugh. we see the redhead making her own special and pie. And, so of course, she's going to put her little puby, mm-hmm. puby pubes in there. Um, it's going to have a little grit to it. Um, like, I want to see that on Top Chef. Like, someone just, like, digs into, like, their crotch, and then, like, pubes. Sprinkles it on. Pubes Instead from Mr. Gordon Ramsay. Salt guy. Yeah. It's pube guy. <laughs> and so um, we have the. Um, I could see, is that whenever Chidi is getting talking to? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. They're Chidi's in the, being the talking, thing, I believe, and, by Father the Rod. Temple, and they're talking about the book. And Says we, that's their scriptures are work in progress, that the last bits are blank, blank. Because it's always getting added to mm-hmm. uh, by and Mr. Ruben. And this one's being Ruben. written by Ruben. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is where he said so weird. he draws and we interpret and he said he is unclouded by cognition because Chidi goes by the disabled and he says yes he is unclouded by cognition and he said all of our oracles are deliberate products of inbreeding yeah because he has so do you just wait for someone who's unclouded to come no, along no, deliberately is how he do says. it yeah and then he's like so oh no they we purposely do like this pro ableist like or pro <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> like anyways yeah so they go through all that that's whenever josh asks and if he can take a picture that's of it. actually a very common belief too though a lot of mm. times people believe that anyone who is i, I mm-hmm. sorry i don't know the correct term yeah. but um i'm just gonna go with unclouded as well yeah. um that they are closer to God mm, and that mm-hmm. they are not like, or like this. more innocent in mm-hmm. a sense because they're that, not like the, jaded uh, by what we, have what is that? The with. like childlike mm-hmm. love of God and oh. stuff. There's like a, this just made me there's like a phrase or something about the child, like child love of God. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. that's, I was listening mm. to an episode of lore the other day and it was mentioning that too. Mm. And so I was like, Oh, it's crazy. So it's, it's a pretty common thing, not even just in this. Um, mm-hmm. But yes, this is where you hear Connie screaming in the distance. So. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So. And um, what? Then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I jumped ahead on my notes. My bad a little this bit. This is basically where they go get the meat pie. So mm-hmm. Christian's cup is pink and he served obviously a special pie. Mm-hmm. Everyone at the table looks on edge. Like yeah. even Mark, Josh is looking like. A little uncomfortable. And then even Mark, because the dude is like just looking at him and he's at like, is he going to kill me? And I was like, yes, he is, Mark. And then yeah. he's going to wear your fucking skin. Literally. Like a mask. And then um, that's whenever we have Mark getting uh, asked away by that one girl. Yeah, because um, so she's going to show him. She, I'm going to show what, you. That's like what, That's all you get. And he's you. like, okay. Like, I'm going to go because she's going to show me. <laughs> and like, yeah, what? He dead. Bye. And yeah. Christian finds the pubic hair <laughs> in his pie. Yeah. And he's like, what the the pubic hair yeah mark's like making a big old deal out of it mm-hmm. and he's like why are you embarrassed you're not the one serving pube pies yeah like, <laughs> well that is gross it is it's and disgusting pubic hairs are very specifically noticeable yes um and so then after that we have it's already bedtime right mm-hmm. um, you can tell chidi just knows chidi knows something's up but then he's also about to be <laughs> up to no good yeah because he leaves his shoes on and that's whenever we know he's gonna go and try to sneak, sneak into the temple and go look at the ruby ross mm-hmm. um and they give it a different second name every time and um he then uh is in there he takes pictures of it and then that's whenever he turns around and he thinks he sees mark mm-hmm. um but it's not mark he realized like something was off a la texas chainsaw massacre style he's someone else is wearing mark's face and it's and then he, he sees no Ruben, in, and then Ruben's in the corner. He has no pants on too, does he? Oh uh, no, yeah, no pants on. Yeah, it's yeah. just like you see a bush with a little, 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 little whitey thing. And then, and then you also see um, <laughs> Ruben's, in, Ruben's the corner. in the corner. Yeah, yeah. just watching, like uh. in the bed. <laughs> Which how did he not know that Ruben wouldn't have been there? Was in there. Yeah, I know. It's like he was in there earlier. Strong. Did he not see the? Yeah. <laughs> Like and so, anyways, yeah, he gets knocked out essentially, mm-hmm. and, oh, that's, and his little—you can kind of see his skull because like, he's doing this like hemorrhaging moment mm-hmm. thing. Um, poor guy, and that's whenever <laughs> Christian, um, <clears throat> the next day, um, is dropping. Oh yeah, because the next day, that's whenever, um, 
the father odd is telling them like someone took the, the book, the, was the, stolen. Book, the book yeah. was stolen and they can't find Josh. And then that's when every Christian just throws Josh under the bus immediately. Like, we're not like, associated with him I, at I, all. I, I would be for, so embarrassed. Like <clears throat> literally a fucking asshole. Yeah. And then they're also trying to pin their disappearances like on them. The people are, they're like, yeah. it's really odd that your two friends would disappear on the same day. And our book goes missing. Yeah. The book didn't go fucking missing. Yeah. It never went fucking missing, yeah. but they're just like, they're trying to turn this around. Yeah, they all so they won't question yeah. why their two friends are gone. Mm-hmm. And obviously, kind of Christian and um, Danny are kind of like, well, almost in a sense, believing in it. Yeah, too. Like, oh, they like, could have. I guess yeah. they could have mm-hmm. ran off. Yeah. Connie and Simon also left. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. And everyone's got like just random people like have explanations for things too, which is it's like, too weird. They're all in on this. It's Y'all way too all weird. All fucking in on it. Yeah. Oh, and weird. so then we have the uh the mushroom water right they do something because where they're like getting handed yes something yeah to yeah drink. basically they say danny you have to come with us you have to come with the women that's right and so they yeah she they has to drink the tea for the maypole story competition story about yeah and they get to dancing around they're supposed to keep dancing until you drop basically mm-hmm. if you drop you don't it's kind of also it's almost like a musical chairs i guess in a way yeah last one standing wins mm-hmm. um and they're dancing in circles christian is did you ever dance around uh, in north carolina i remember multiple times like I guess for in like school mm-hmm. and daycare and stuff, we would dance around the maypole. Like where you just held like strings, like everyone had ribbon and then we would like dance around it and it you would wrap Nicole, the pole. Caitlin. Yeah, probably. You were yeah. <laughs> this is also the same school that let me go spend the night at our, the whole kindergarten. My class all spent the night at our teacher's house. Just her with a bunch of, what? kindergartners isn't that the most like she got that thing? approved or like she was just like y'all come spend the night I, we were all there i remember like <laughs> it was it that's was the weird most yeah i've never heard thing. of that ever so yeah happening. i guess this was a weird even little by like school. 1998 standards or how old were we 2001 2002 when we were in school uh, yeah that it had age. to have been i, I mean like i was like five so yeah 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 that's crazy <gasps> probably 99 we started school in 99 yeah mm. i don't think about it anymore yeah all right Super weird. So yeah, but yeah. I dance around the maple. I have danced around I've the maple before. But I, I've seen. So when I saw things. it, I was like, "Oh, totally normal. I've done yeah. this." <laughs> it's like a children, a child's <laughs> game. And so uh, we have then um, the she she ends up winning. Um, mm-hmm. And then they like escort her away in a chariot because she has to go bless the fields and do all these things that like a May Queen has to do. And that's whenever we have Christian getting taken away by some weird lady. Yeah. And she gets he gets taken to a room because he's supposed to basically have coitus with the ginger girl. Yeah. They basically, uh, they go, he has to go meet with the old lady. Yeah. Sorry. I mentioned a few times before where it seemed like this was the first time Danny was actually held in a while. Mm. It was by that girl who was telling her like who she had that drink with Mm -hmm. right before. And like, when she holds her before the contest starts, Mm -hmm. like the way that Danny like sighs, Um. it seemed like, that was she the first had like, good real hug, in a hug long time. she had had in a long time. And then I also like right before it starts, um, everyone else bows, leaving Danny standing alone. Mm. And I was like, that seems like pretty symbolic of what's about to happen. Mm-hmm. And they mentioned the the black one lured them in and they dance themselves to death. And that's mm-hmm. why they're like having to do this. Um, and at whenever her sister died and was like, it's so dark, everything's dark. Uh, it felt like kind of I like a, that. Yeah. Al- almost like a like callback a, to that. Yeah. And that Symbolic. this was her like breaking, f- defeating it mm-hmm. almost. Mm-hmm. This was her overcoming what she had been through and what her family had, or what I guess her sister had gone through and then she subsequently lured her it. into the black, into the darkness and stuff too. Um, and no you're good so she then gets escorted does all that christian goes um into this room or temple i would say um he gets given this like uh powder for vitality or whatever stamina so that way he can okay hold on we've (laughs) did i skip a whole part like all of these notes for me but what happened um, what did i miss basically so uh he does he goes and he talks to the old lady Mm -hmm. and it's a nice harsh cut to the silence from all the music that's happening around the maypole and you get the image of the bear burning with Christian staring at it but Mm -hmm. he goes and talks to the old lady and this is where she says like Maya has fixed her hopes on him and that she has been approved to mate that's true because they are ideal like he has been approved to mate because they're ideal astrological matches which Mm -hmm. is like weird and then so basically it's kind of like 
it's flashing then flashes back to Danny dancing and it's having all the happening time of her this life. Is all going on. Yeah. yeah, it's happening at the same time. And mm-hmm. um and she looks out into the crowd at one point and like everyone's cheering for her or doing that thing where they've mm-hmm. got both of their hands in the oh, air yeah, yeah. and they're all in white and like it's just so clear how Christian doesn't belong in this life of hers now. Mm-hmm. Because he's like in this navy shirt and he completely looks Sticking different. Out. And yeah. everyone's sitting there cheering for her and he's like not even looking at her. Yeah. And the fact that she had just won. Yeah. Basically. At this point, they had already give, they'd given him that mushroom water too, right? Yeah, this they is where they him offer him it to him. He didn't right want to take it, but then he did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And because he like looks over at the redhead girl because he now knows that mm-hmm. they're trying to mate with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and basically, then, yes. They she wins a crown the May Queen and um as she's like walking back to the table and stuff and they're putting the crown on her and the little like collar thing. Mm-hmm. Um she sees her mom her in mom. the crowd. Yeah, that's right. Pele she walks by her kisses her. Yeah. Like a real fucking Just weird. Like passionate kiss. Yeah. Too. It wasn't like a it was like a <laughs> for a yeah. second. And I was like, Oh God. And at this point the flowers are breathing because well, we're we've consumed mushroom stuff. Um, that's right and then it's feast time yeah and that's whenever they all follow her they do the same thing where it's like a domino effect like they only eat when she starts eating Mm -hmm. and then that's whenever we have i have i say christian is having a bad trip yeah christian's sitting there like he's clearly out of place he's Mm -hmm. like freaking out he's looking real and and then that old man like claps in his face when he says what is going on oh you're right just like claps and And then it makes everything go like super visual for him yeah yeah it's kind of slow mo. Um, and then this is when they ask her to, to go into the chariot. Yeah. Right. I they also try to make her wow. eat a weird fish. Oh yeah. They like try to put herring. it down her. They're like, you throat. can eat it whole. And she doesn't really, but they're all like, ah, yeah. Like, Cause then I think the she, she kind of like almost maybe Spits pukes it up. Yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And yeah, she definitely leans over her chair and is like, Wah. yeah. And then they laugh at her. And so <laughs> after they laugh with her, I guess the, the ginger gets up to leave. And then, mm-hmm. um, that's also whenever she, she goes on the chariot to bless the lands. And then she's planting seeds. The girls are singing around her and they and welcomed her to the family. At they this did. Point. This is yeah. basically what's happened. Cause mm-hmm. the girl like who held her before was like, we're, sis- we're sisters now. Like, yeah, you're, you are family. Is what yeah. she like says to her. And then we have uh, the old men uh, being weird with Christian. And that's whenever they give him the shit for the. Yeah. The, the, Cause he the, gets like mm-hmm. this girl making, they make a whole trail of flowers from the mm-hmm. table to Christian to go in. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, then he smells that like boner smoke. Mm-hmm. Basically. basically Viagra. Yeah. Just vitality. Yeah. He's like, smell this. Why do <laughs> they all smell it? And so, right? What are they doing? Stop smelling things. <laughs> and then um, after that, that's whenever um, we have the the dude, Daylight Christian, go into the room with them. And then there's a bunch of ladies lined up. They're all naked and this the girls in the middle. This scene so beautiful, but mm-hmm. so, so weird. fucking weird. And then we have, I guess, you, have you ever seen the movie Suspiria? The new one? Uh-uh. The remake? Oh, okay. You have to watch that for the ending as well because it's kind of weird Suspiria. like this. Suspiria. Suspiria. It's really good. What it's really on? long. It's on Amazon Prime. Okay. And I think you can, you don't have to rent it. I think it's free. And it's got Tilda Swinton and huh. like Dakota Fanning, the oh. girl from, yeah. you know, the Fifty Shades and a bunch of other people. Oh. But it's really good. That sounds good. It's long, but it's good. Chloe Grace Moretz. A lot of oh, other wow. people. That's a really big cast. Yeah, yeah. Suspiria. Okay, I'll have to watch. It's that. a remake of an old movie, but it's pretty good. Okay. Um, and so Sounds yeah, cool. um, and uh, we have um, I think you'd like the the shots and how it's shot, the camera work. Mm. Um, so anyway, sorry. Um, he's he's in there, right? They have the ginger in the middle, and that's whenever they're instructing him that like he has. He, well, basically, already knows what he wants to do, but they want him to go and have sex with her, and so I guess he doesn't really. At this point, know what's about to happen, but then they start the ritual and they all start like mimicking her moans. Yeah, and they're it's like, like he's having sex with, with all, all of them. them. Yeah, because the baby is all theirs. It's all it's weird. raised by all of them. by all of them. And so then he's doing this, and then even at one point, some weird old lady like, like gets up to in his face. In his face. Could you imagine like having to come no, I, with I, a I woman not. screaming at you? A woman. Yeah, there a you woman. go. <laughs> a woman. <laughs> I get turned off when I'm watching porn and like there's a, a woman an ad it. of a woman comes in and I'm like, oh, why would you I don't do this? I want to see no vaginas. I specifically like the gay porn. <laughs> Gosh. Um, yeah, no. And then and so, yeah, no. And then she ends up 
actually thrusting behind, yeah, like pushing, pushing on him in. like a swing set, yeah. like just like pushing him mm-hmm. in her. And it's the way that at first he's or like, like this is weird. Stretch. He's he's weirded out definitely by it at first, even through the trip. But then he's like, oh whatever, whatever. And then he starts going at it. it. Yeah. yeah. And then oh my god, she is so weird. They're going at it. And then and then we get. Uh, at the same time, we have what's her face coming back, uh, Danny. Danny, and then she's asking like where Christian is, or not actually no, she's not. She's she's walking with the lady, and she's like hearing them all moaning. Uh-huh. She's like, "What's what going on over there?" On in there? And then she, they're telling her, "You shouldn't go." Yeah, yeah. you don't need it's to. It's not know. for you. Yeah, it's no. It gives me very um, Family Guy and the cleaning lady, Superman, Noah's home. No, do you know what I'm talking <laughs> about? Know. No, okay, you have to look it up. No, and so um, yeah, she sees through the peephole of them like mm, doing it. Fucking. And and the, what was so weird for me is that whenever they're done and on, he pulls out or whatever. It's how she's like, I feel it. Yeah. I feel it inside I was like, me. Girl, the baby. I don't think it happens like, that fast. That's not how it works. But yeah, <laughs> oh, it was so weird. I was like, what if his semen doesn't like She's like, I egg? feel it moving inside me. Yeah. yeah. And then how does that work? What if someone miscarriages? Like, what if someone this or that? Like, I don't know. Uh, anyways. And so, yeah, she ends up... Uh, or he ends up then kind of coming to you, I guess, in a sense, but mm-hmm. not really, because he's like, oh, what the heck is happening? And then he ends up running out of there. And so there's, his there's actor blood all over his pee-pee. really um, fought for him to be like full frontal nudity here because mm. he was like, you know, so many times in horror films, women are mm-hmm. often like just running around naked and boobs. boobs. Yeah, it's like you have to, mm-hmm. we have to see a pair of titties mm-hmm. at some point for this for to, to be a horror, horror film. Yeah. And um, he was like, I want to kind of reverse the role. Mm. And like, he just wanted people to look at his He just date. wanted people. I was like, but it's not really even a, like, I mean, the shot was not flattering to him. No. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, but he, he really, he was like, well, no, why is it, it should too be that, like, like, in, in the original well, script, Ari Aster intended for him to be naked, but then they thought about cutting it out. Yeah, and then just because, like, you know, for audience's sake like, or whatever. He was like, no, I'll, like, I'll do it. I well, want to do this. Also, too, like, what is it for? Okay. I mean, I guess all men, I don't. All men are different, and there's no shame in, like, body hair, no body hair. But, like, it's like in movies. Anytime you do end up seeing, like, a man being naked, why is there bush, like, so fucking, like, uncapped? And, like, it's, like, it's covering up the dick. Like, you don't even want me to see it. It's like you can't even see the dick. It's... uh, People nowadays trim. Like, yeah. come on. Like, we are, we're all Everyone trimming. Everyone got a pair nobody's, of scissors. Nobody's letting that thing go unruly. unruly. Like, <laughs> it's pretty, I mean, yeah, some people Jack have a preference, Sorry, but most people are, you know, and yeah, anyways. But, okay. So, we he runs out, right? He's, like, and kind like of losing his mind. And it's, kind of the mind. ultimate form of humiliation. I, Jack Rayner thought that mm, of being he naked. needed, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. He and needed so to be he humiliated like, after that? Yeah, mm-hmm. he did. And... He said it also would make the character seem more vulnerable. That's true. Um, but yeah, he, <laughs> I said, this bitch just starts singing as he's half dick in. I don't even know in. my notes. Okay. I don't know either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then she, they, the, oh, the way my notes are so disjointed. My notes don't even go this far because I'm going purely off of memory. Um, but look at this meme I have for this. Of course, Portman's right. <sighs> Men's rights to shut the fuck up. That's hilarious. Um, oh, God. And so, yeah, sorry, you guys. We're going to get back to this. So he runs out. Um, that's whenever. That's right. He runs out. He's running. Then he sees freaking Josh's leg sticking out of the yeah, ground. This is where uh, he starts finding all the, the bodies. bodies. Yes. And it gives Literally very everyone. like Halloween and Friday the mm-hmm. 13th whenever he gets finding you know it's like almost like set up on purpose yeah. he just happens to be running some into very them. intense displays like so the oh, one of, the, of simon yeah he's, simon uh, with the back like being is played is eagle a, it's called eagle something yeah it's like an actual thing and it's by the vikings yeah. and apparently you were alive uh-huh. for most part of it you, you were alive yeah so simon's fate is based on a viking ritualized execution method called blood eagle mm-hmm. in which victims were placed in a prone position their ribs severed from their spine with a sharp tool and their lungs pulled through the opening to create a pair of wings the victims would supposedly be alive and conscious through the process and not die until sometime after likely from blood, like lo- blood loss, blood loss yeah. and so as such when christian finds him simon is still breathing though mm-hmm. barely and mm-hmm. he says if at all conscious um and so as he was a part of the sacrifice he does die sometime between christian finding him and the final final ritual but mm-hmm. it can be argued that he died while like christian was in there since he only breathes once or twice during the scene mm-hmm. but there's also the it's highly, it could be, um, the breathing could be what, cause Chris, or uh, Christian took like mushroom no, yeah, drinks. Yeah. He could so just, he like, could have just been tripping. Drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then he gets knocked out. 
really mm-hmm. fast. Um, once again, we get another type of dust that gets blown into his face and he's, he knocks out. Yep. Um, at this point, then we have him coming to and he's been paralyzed. Mm-hmm. Um, he can't move. He's in a wheelchair. And then he's getting explained that so by the lady. Right. And then <gasps> it's like a sleep paralysis dream you can't wake up from. Mm-hmm. And then um, when I had to get a spinal tap, that's basically what it felt like. Yeah. That's what. And oh, really? Oh, yeah. Ouch. You just kind of lay there. You can't like do anything. You're mm-hmm. just like in your body. It was fucking. Sounds painful. It always looks painful in movies. Yeah. yeah. It was not fun. I'm sorry. I cried because mm-hmm. I like couldn't I control my body. If and I, I had just to, sat there crying. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't know how to handle that if someone had to do that to me. I'd probably just like, no, I'll die. Yeah, I'll please, take my six months. Please put me in this bear and please set me on fire. <laughs> I'll take my six months to live. It's okay. Um, and so, yeah, they are then explaining how they needed the four new bloods <clears throat> and then um, the two volunteers, mm-hmm. um, which are from their, their town, or whatever, which is Ingmar and some other dude. And they had the outsiders and then they had the two elders, which needed to be a part of it. And then she... Uh, the May Queen gets to choose between either Christian mm-hmm. or one of the people from their own town who yep. is like volunteered just to to do it if just she ends up case. choosing him. Yeah, choosing him. Um, and so I was like, oh, is this a raffle? Um, like how did they do that? Yeah. <laughs> like, and so um, she has to choose between them. And at that point, uh, that's whenever we see that she ends up choosing Christian. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like that was a pretty easy yeah, choice for her like, at this moment because no, she you. was still you like some other bitch. Yeah. You've been a piece of shit this whole time. You forgot my birthday. Ma- mainly, you forgot my birthday. Yeah. I'm going to set you on fire. And so um, – we then see Connie dead as well in the mm-hmm. wheelbarrow. They're build, like putting her in there. Um, they're Just taking wheeling everyone in. Mark's little jester scarecrow mm-hmm. body. They oh, um, that's so creepy. Are then too. taking the organs out of the bear. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's when we see Christian in the corner. And then they finally put him into the bear the suit. Bear suit. And then that's when we see oh, him propped up in the room. And right in the middle. Um, they're all yeah, they're them. all in there. We have Ingmar and the guy in there. They give them like some shit that's supposed to make them not feel pain, but obviously but no. They were still feeling pain. You hear they, their screams. They end up setting it all on fire. Yeah, and then you literally, as soon as the fire touches them, they start they're screaming. screaming. Um, yeah. And then we don't necessarily hear like a scream from Christian, but it's more like a like mm-hmm. a guttural like mm-hmm. type yeah. of sound because he's paralyzed. Isn't is it no. Yeah. Did they stuff his mouth with anything? I don't know. I, don't I just think that he just was that, like, he couldn't do anything. Yeah. He couldn't even speak. Yeah. And then, he um, had been so heavily drugged. Mm-hmm. And whatever it was fully debilitated him. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we get the scene of them all at the end, everybody outside, kind of like how we were with the elders, like, m- echoing the, the screams Screaming. that we're hearing from inside of the temple. And at that point, you kind of, like... Danny kind of breaks down a little bit, mm-hmm. almost like in, in screaming. But then, like very quickly, looks... we get this like flip of like her getting this like menacing grin. Yeah, of, like she's been um, freed of she's... everything of her old life, mm-hmm. and now can start this new, new life family with this new family. Essentially, because she has nothing at home, she had nothing to lose, mm-hmm. and now, like you said, that was all an initiation. She's basically feeling for the first time, um, like she has a community or a sense of people around yeah. her. And honestly, she can be held like Pele said. She is staying there for life. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. She, it's, she's in it. That's crazy. I would be too at that point. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's Midsummer. It's Midsummer. Uh, so I didn't realize this, but mm-hmm. it's basically this film is also a film about breaking up in toxic romantic relationships because mm-hmm. Ari Aster had gone through a relationship that like breakup right that. before this, and. A24, was he Danny or Christian? I know. I wonder. A24 gave away free couples counseling to market the movie. Really? Isn't that so weird? Yeah, that yeah. was on like all the list of fun facts. I was like, really? I had no fucking clue. But I thought that was so interesting. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, Ari Aster like kind of clearly said like, yeah, I mean, I had a breakup movie and me. It was originally supposed to be a slasher and that made Ari Aster not want to pick it up because he was like, uh, I, mm. I don't want to do just a straight like Swedish flasher yeah. or slasher. And so then he was like, then it became with kind of that breakup film I already had in me with this storyline. Meshed together. This came out of it. Yeah. And that's cool. It's phenomenal. Yeah. So good. Um, uh, are we ready to give that our boost? Yeah. I I'm so. going to give it a four. Four. Why? Four. Um, four. I'm slightly offended. <laughs> 
Not really. <laughs> no, a four. I'm going to give it a four. Why is that? I though? won't because I, it was beautifully shot. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of cool scenes in it. There I'm was not a actually lot of, offended. Please no, I know. That. There's a lot of um, <clears throat> the um, iconography that you like get through at the murals. Mm -hmm. Everything is really beautiful. It's got so a decent pretty. story. There's not really a part where I'm like, like that. that doesn't make sense or that doesn't add up. It all really goes through. It flows. Um I think for me, just more so, it's just not a movie that I feel like I can watch a lot of times because it is just very heavy. Yeah, it is. And I just, it, it's it's just a lot to sit through. Like I said, I was recommending it to people, but not sure if I could ever watch it again myself. Yeah. And then um, I did. And I bought it, I had, like, I, I bought it on fucking DVD the moment it came out. <laughs> but it makes sense. And um, I think it's just also, it's just a really smart film. So I can like respect it. And like, I really yeah. like it in that sense. It's shot well. And he literally had a vision and a point for everything that happened in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just a four for me. It's not, I, I don't think that I could reserve to give it a five. Or that's I'm fair. reserving to give it a five. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. Like you said, it is incredibly, it's incredibly it's tough dark. to get through. Mm -hmm. Like, I okay. I think I started this sentence at the beginning of the episode, but didn't finish it. Um, whenever... I was kind of telling people about the film. I said, if they had watched Hereditary, I said, mm -hmm. take the last 15 minutes of Hereditary and Expanded what you felt during that movie. and then put it into two hours of this two hour and 30 minute film. Mm -hmm. So only 30 minutes of this film are like not like what the fuck. The rest of the two hours is just like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. The whole time. Yeah. And like hereditary was just so beautiful. And then like in the last 15 minutes, it's, like, it's more like a shit. Hits it's like a fucking it's like a fan. family drama that turns into a horror movie. Yeah. That's just yeah, insane. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I felt like this whole movie was just like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like I said, when I watch it, I literally I had to go buy tiramisu because that's my favorite dessert mm -hmm. and go home and watch Bob's Burgers because yeah. I was like, I can't even talk. I'm literally I felt so empty inside. Mm -hmm. Um, but if it had that much of an effect on you, then like, yeah. Yeah, I think it's so good. And like yeah. I said, it was one of my favorite horror. Oh. It was my favorite film of 2019. It was also Ariana Grande's favorite horror film of mm. or favorite film of 2019. And so I was like, Style. I knew Class. it. We fucking love it. Taste. We love Ari. It jumped. We love Ari mm -hmm. Master. And we love Ari oh, Ana Grande. I didn't think um, about that. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> and so I'm like, if my main girl loves it. We got to love that's it good for you. But also I loved it before I knew she loved it as mm -hmm. well. She had a midsummer birthday party for her 27th birthday. Really? And I was like, yeah, she I remember. I remember when she came, like when she dropped those photos mm -hmm. and I was like, yes, bitch. She has the same I birthday as Monica. It. Oh, really? June 26th. I love it. I think. Fun. I think. Yeah. Cool. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah. What's your rating? I, uh, I would a give five? this a maybe a 12. 12. Yeah. If I mm -hmm. could. Um, but yeah. So a five. A five. solid five. Solid nice. five. Good. Way more if I could. This, like, this film really blew me away. And like I said, I mean, I've watched it so many times since, but yeah. I really didn't know if I could make it through it a second time. And then once I did, like, I once I was aware of, what's of going what on. was going to happen, it was a little bit easier for me to get through. Mm -hmm. um, but the first time, I mean, seeing that for the first time was truly jarring. And then, like I said, my my whole experience was, like, really fucking um like wild i mean mm -hmm. just with the people leaving the police came in at one point too in the in the theater oh in the theater room yeah like security i guess it was security i'm sorry yeah. security came in at one point and they were like talking and stuff that's weird and i would took be freaked someone out. out i would be freaked and out. i was like what the fuck is going on what the fuck's going on on screen what the fuck is going on around in the me room, this yeah. is just oh it was so There's wild so many like uh like what is the word like receptors going off? Yeah. yeah, it was it was insane. But anyways, I love this film. Um, we love this a film. Great. Technically, midsummer happens in June. Um, mm -hmm. It's the but summer it's solstice, summer. but it is still summer. Yeah, so it's and a so summer we're film. continuing our summer films. And next week we're going to be continuing our summer film festival, uh, expanded into the series of these three months. What are what are we? Um, what are we watching? Uh, uh, I know we what were, you did last. Summer? We I, I well, it's up in the air. I think we'll decide on it. But you guys, if y'all want to, we'll we'll tell y'all what we're thinking. So yes. that way they can watch. What we're thinking about. I know what you did last summer. Mm -hmm. The hills have eyes. Yes, the, the remake. remake, not the nineteen seventy hoo ha version. Yeah. Um. Uh, 
Us. Us. Us mm-hmm. by Jordan Peele. Yes. Um, and then also. Yeah. Preparate, because Nope is now out, y'all. There's also a few other ones, too. You um, can talk. Like I mean, Cabin Fever. Oh, yeah. Or um, there was also another one I saw earlier that I was like, oh, that might be interesting that I've never seen before. Yeah. Um, Jeepers Creepers possibly takes. Possibly. I remember Jeepers Creepers kind of. Well, I just love Justin a, Long. It, it had a lasting impression for me. That movie actually creeped me out as a kid. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. I was like, Genuinely, I remember thinking where like, I didn't <gasps> finish it. I, oh. never, I never finished it until I watched it older as an adult, adult because dirt. A dirt because it, it freaked me out so much as a kid. Yeah, it is scary. Mm-hmm. I re- I remember being freaked out and like then I Eli- just has Eliza Dushku in it, right? Eliza Dushku. Yeah, uh, yeah, something like the that. The girl, she yeah. is a girl character. Yeah, she's Anyways. the girl from Bring It On. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. we've got all those films. So let us know which one you're gonna watch. Yeah. You want us to watch? Um, we'll figure it out though. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyways, uh, once again, we're in the lovely Rogue Media Network studios. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are taking care, good care of us as always. Yes. And you can always check out our podcast and other podcasts on their website, roguemedianetwork.com. You can also listen studios. to us on a, and all those other podcasts on a slew of podcasting platforms. Biggest two being uh, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Spotify Podcasts. And wherever yes. you do listen, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. Please do because we that's actually the only way got some more can, ratings yay. on Apple. That's the only way that we can get ahead like, oh in life, you guys. God. That's my mom. Just We're kidding. getting oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I was like, wait, is it that's me sweet. from like five different email accounts? I know. I thought about well, okay. So in that episode with that, that I I believe the one that I'm going to be on is dropping this week. So for oh, whenever nice. y'all hear it, it's going to be like. Mm-hmm. three weeks after that episode comes out. With the two girls, out. one ghost? Yeah, with two girls, one ghost. I like mentioned, I was like, oh, like all the ratings are just like me. And Sabrina said, oh, we have eight ra- eight ratings now. We, we've gotten two ratings this week. That's um, cute. But basically she was like, oh, I did that. She said I made multiple email accounts and like rated it. And I was like, okay, I fuck. So now I need to do that. That's super cute. Make everyone Yeah, go, we'll, we'll have to. Um, but yeah, um, also too, if you wanted to follow us on our social media mm-hmm. platforms, we only have one right now at the moment, which is our Instagram. And that is at Boo Bays Podcast. Mm-hmm. And that's B-O-O-B-A-E-S because we're your Boo Bays, not your Boo Babes. That's right. And uh, what else, Caitlin? I think, I think I until, until next time. It's going to be a bye, Bays. Bye, Bays. Bye, Bays. <laughs>